Hello everyone, welcome back pew, pew, pew. to Lewis and Ben. Just imagine Ben said that. Don't worry, he's, um, we've just been back. To, we've just been out to, um, we went to a, a nice like pottery place where you can paint pottery. It's really fun. Um, my hands are like really tired. Um, we all painted some like pottery things and I gotta get them fired and then probably put that out as a yog vlog next week. I think that'll be quite fun. Um, oh, my hands are so tired though. I was like slapping on like layers and layers of paint and like trying to hold this awkward model. I'm not gonna say what I painted. It'll be good. It's fun. It was a little bit of like healthy therapy for, you know, everyone. It was really fun. It wasn't like actual ghost. It wasn't like any actual pottery making it was like just like the pottery was like 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 I, I think i guess it was like made or fired and then they were gonna paint it and then fire that i guess to put the colors in i'm not sure how it works i don't know but it wasn't like it was like hard it wasn't like soft it's like chalky there was no actual pottery making no i think that's another time so i do want to do that i do want to make like some pottery um so I'd like to I'd like to know how that works. That might be something I do in future. It's healthy to have these like to to to, to just see how the sausage is made or the plate, I guess. Yeah, maybe not the sausage so much. Um where is Blen? He's on his way. Uh, I just wanted to just to get live and you know say hi. So I didn't want to keep you guys waiting. I thought I'd just see what Chad had to say. Um SST Warn Warnke says Lewis is way more handsome now than he was when Yogs started. Look at this glow up. Wow. It's the Lewis and Ben Save the World t shirt. That's what's done it. Also, the lovely mood lighting we have here. Also, um, the sunshine and the mood. I'm in a good mood. You know, if you um if you spend a day in um in a boiling hot studio um painting painting pottery with your best mates and um get really sweaty and there's like a million screaming kids downstairs just you know that'll really just lift your mood right up <laughs> um i enjoyed it oh simon clark dr simon clark shout out to the to the, to the good doctor um i was talking to someone about us going to gamescom simon clark i said if you're up for that but they were like, I was like, they were like, do you want to, they were like, we want the Civ crowd to come to Gamescom and play our game. And I was like, what do you mean Civ crowd? What, me and, um, me and Duncan and Shin and, um, so, and Rillian and Dautos? And they were like, and, uh, and I said, and Simon Clark? And they were like, Dr. Simon Clark. So they obviously knew, they knew that they knew about you. So yeah, I think that might be a thing we can go and do and play, um, they obviously, yeah, so they go. Like, that's uh, that was the thing that happened. Yeah, you up for it? All right, this is how we do business here in the Yogscast. <laughs> I'll put you down. I'll put you down for a maybe. And then I got a message from people at Cyberpunk, and they were like, do you want to come and see Cyberpunk at Gamescom? It would just be the same thing as E3. And I was like, of course I do. And that's like the best thing. That would be the best thing at um, Gamescom. Because I saw it last year, Jim, but I went and saw Cyberpunk last year with me. It was me, Shin, and Terps, Duncan, someone. Someone was there. And we went and we got Tom, maybe. And we got the little figurines. And I sold one for charity. Um, yeah, that was good. And hopefully they'll do it again. That was a whole year. That was it's amazing that a game is like a huge game. Like last year. What? Cyberpunk. Oh, Cyberpunk. You've got to come to Gamescom. Uh, maybe. Yeah, I was just saying, Simon Clark's in chat. And oh, he he's excited. Um to come along and see, uh, see that game with us, maybe. Ah. That'd be fun to do. Yeah, there's a few games people want to show us. What uh, is on your game dar? I don't really have a games radar because... Game dar. I have been disappointed game. so many times by pre-order computer game hype Good that dar. I actually don't want to know anything about any games that are coming out. I just want to... You've had your heart broken too many I've times. I've had my heart Listen, broken ben, too many you times. You learn to love again. And yeah, but I need... To just play the game and not get hyped for a year before it comes out, you know? Don't tell me about a game that's coming out next year. I don't give a shit. Tell me about a game that's coming out today. Okay. 
<laughs> uh, I haven't done anything. I've been too busy. I've I been think so actually, busy today. It's Fantasy Flight Games that's done it to me. They make the Star Wars Armada, and they preview like the next thing that's going to come out, like a year before it comes out. And then they drip feed information about it every couple of months. They're like, oh, there's so many points it costs. Oh, look, this next month, these are some of the upgrades that come with it. Oh, look at this. And then by the time you actually get hold of the ship, like, you're like, oh, well, this doesn't feel new or exciting anymore because I've already read all about it. Um, I think I had a similar thing with one of the Hearthstone dispatches. Like, I was really into Hearthstone and I watched like Trump or Kipler, whoever it was, do like a full rundown of all the cards and whether they were good or bad. And stuff. Mm. So when I actually got the packs and opened them up and started playing it, I already felt like I was bored of it. It was weird. Yeah. But I was really it. excited watching the videos and seeing all the new stuff that was coming along. Mm. So anyway. Yeah, too much early access. That's, that's the problem. Turns out, we don't know what we're talking about. Let's go. <sighs> let's play XCOM. Let's play XCOM. We've got to save. The, this world ain't going to save itself, is it? No. Um, we're we're going to struggle to save it, I think, as well. Double on donations. She got in contact. Did you see? She, she uh, painted some models. Did you, did you see how links are in? Oh, yeah. Painted an ultramarine really nicely. Very nice. She showed us her Instagram. Yeah. That's not a euphemism. <laughs> no, it's... Um, <laughs> yeah, so Dumblon Dalmatian's Instagram was a tea brush painting. Oh, I, I don't think? know if she wants us to, to tell you what it is, but anyway, oh, it's, it's out I there. assumed that was why. I don't know if it's, it, I don't think it is that either. Well, but free, free ad. Something like that. Um, and anyway, if you're, if you're watching, shout out to you. Thank you. If you're not mm -hmm. in your squad, Vod Squad, is there like a... Like a V for the VOD squad? V um, O. I think it's like this. V V V V O. It's a gesture. VOD squad. <laughs> we tried. <laughs> we tried to make you guys cool, but you're not. You're not cool. You're not watching live. And they can't fight back either. They can't complain. They have no control <laughs> of what I say. Oh, I do read the comments on the on the VODs. Because there's only like 10 of them, so it's really easy. <laughs> no one watches it. Or on the, um, Lewis, on the, on the Lewis and Ben channel. Oh. Yeah. And they're always very nice, that's why. You can guarantee yeah. they're going to be nice things people have to say. You know, right. No one's, people who don't like it aren't hanging around. Uh, is Richard George still alive? And whereabouts would he be living? Do you know what I mean? Did he die last week? Did who die? Richard George. No. I'd remember that. He would have we died in lost, melee. We did lie a few. He, that's right. Because I'm sure I was. He's just a melee thinking, boy. I was just thinking, because he needs to be sent his plasma blade. There he is. Yeah. Because this squad is kitted out for underwater, and we didn't have an underwater mission like all stream. So he's just sat, sat in the submarine, getting, getting sweaty. Like getting. Us. Yeah, yeah. I think he's getting the whole, the old, um, you know, fatigue. He's. Um, we keep teasing him that he's going to go on this underwater mission, but it never comes. So by the time the underwater mission gets there, he's going to be bored. We're giving him underwater teasing. Yeah, we're giving him, yeah, water, water blue balls. Water blue balls. Yeah. Exactly, Ben. Good, good, good word. Good analogy, right? I'm looking for a plasma blade. I don't think we have one. I think he's got to. We're going to have to manufacture one for him. Hopefully. Well, haven't we got Illyrium. the Illyrium mace now instead? No, the, the plasma power blade. Plasma blade, blade. and we've got loads of better things than. No, I think the plasma blade. Plasma the sword. Is plasma sword better than plasma blade? Um, requires only three alloys, and whereas the blade, yeah, let's get the sword. It's bigger. Swords are bigger than blades. He says, "Hello, commanders. Please remember to give me my plasma sword." Okay. Nope. You are. There we go. I'll get mm. you a plasma sword. Let's get three on the go, just in case anyone else needs one, or you drop it for some reason, or chuck it off the fucking side of the world, or whatever. <laughs> Alien alloys, Ben. So yeah, I was just telling everyone about uh, what we did. I was a bit vague. Yeah, because you don't want to ruin the video. I don't want to ruin the VOD, but I was, no. my hands were tired, Ben, from... It was a very sexy VOD. <laughs> <laughs> from all of the use, use that they were getting. Um, what would you like to do mission wise? Uh, I don't really want to shoot chupacabras. That sounds a bit beneath us. We've got a whole month ahead of us here. What's that one in Africa? Zombie <laughs> Can we do a mission that isn't at night or underground? I'd really just like a little farmyard. I'd like to fight a UFO on a farm. Shall we start a new playthrough? Brand new play. Brand new playthrough. Let's do it right now. <laughs> we'll come back to this. No, no, don't do it. Come on, let's do a brand new playthrough. Why? What? We haven't got a mod pack ready. Or you just want to play vanilla? Yeah, original vanilla farmyard action. See how it goes. 
Why don't we just tail a UFO with our Sky Ranger until it lands? And then fight that. Because then we'll get some Illyrium. Brand new. Let's try it. Crazy talk. Back to the farm. Talk about, blue, you know, was it all that talk of blue balls? Now you want a blue ball chat? Yeah, let's go back to the farm. I want to see. I want to see what happens. <laughs> you know what happens. We've done it a million times. I want to see. <laughs> <laughs> you can we'll do it the other way. You could do the... the um, no, let's just... Could do the oh, map. you want to do the tack? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'll do the battles. And you do, you do, you do the tack. Oh. We'll, do, we'll call it Lewis and Ben get bored. Bonus hour. Do something else. Get, Lewis and Ben need a break. <laughs> Lewis and Ben summer holiday. <laughs> Come on. I'm having a break from tip this week. So, you know, um, chat, I needed a summer holiday. Chat doesn't sound happy. Um, Lewis and Ben farm the fill, fill the world. We'll come back. We'll do like... If we're going to do something else... Filler episode. Should we just do something else entirely? Incidentally, I did... All right, fine. I'll just can't play this. I'm only joking, really. Um, I did get an, a message from um, Mechanicus people, devs, mm. who are making a DLC. They are, yeah. Heretech. It comes out in like a two, week, weeks. two weeks. And so I thought we could play it then. So that'll be a thing that we do, Ben, mm. wouldn't it? Yeah, I'm excited because I want to go back to that. But I, I hopefully they fixed the problem where the game got easier the longer you played it. It was like a difficulty slide. I think they have a difficulty curve. Right. Can you do those hand motions again? Slide instead of curve. Yes, that's correct, Ben. Uh -huh. Plasma sword. Oh, it's ten times. Oh, God, they're using titanium swords here. A standard Ooh. equipment. What? Madness. I guess we do need some more swords there. Nah, we don't need any swords. Fuck it. Who's going to use swords? Mad people. Scorpoid Palace in Australia. Fusion, Fusion weapons. Fusion weapons. Obviously, ridiculously powerful, but I'm sure we're just going to use them in a smaller, less uh, silly. Yeah, we won't just like nuke the site from orbit. Yeah. Yeah, let's just actually let's just. Deep ones, deep ones attack. attack. They're attacking a holiday resort. Yeah, we don't, yeah, we don't need to ones. do that. Hmm. Black Lotus Witch. Hmm. Fair enough. Havati Anand Foster. Well, we've killed the Black Lotus. Yeah, I did just, just dropped a bit of research on them because we've got a couple of witches just, just get some easy wondering points. what these witches are doing. All right. What are witches doing? Zombie Hive. A uh, very large Aquatoid battleship. It's alien retaliation, Ben. Mm. They're fighting back. Oh, they are fighting back. Scramble the camera cat. Oh no, our garage. Do you reckon they're going for the garage? It's not got any defences, Ben. It's got a size shield, hasn't it? Oh, phew. Phew. Oh, he's coming for us. It's because the, um, the mod pack's got a load of copyright music in it. So we have to turn all the music off. Destroyed. What? Why do we keep destroying these battleships? We're never going to get in the Illyrium. Oh, another sexy witch. Tan Ying. Hello. Known as the Motor Magician. That's not a good nickname. It's not, is it? The Motor Magician. Should we research that power suit instead of these witches? Ben. Ben. Power suit? Who do you think I am? Sounds more useful. <gasps> Blaster bombs, it does cutting damage. That's weird. Blaster bombs. It's a blaster ring bomb. Blaster launcher bomb. I think I've got that going somewhere else. Oh, it's the ion blaster. blaster. I think blaster bombs still being researched somewhere else. Hmm. It'd be nice to put those onto the ship, won't it? Uh, yeah. Ah. Why does it say yellow knife? What does that mean? Kind of rogue cyber behind it. Is this the same as normal? No. Um. Mm. Is this? I think it's just the same as normal. Um, Let's do it. Who did we send before? Um, Thun team probably from Ace who would do right? everything. Yeah, <laughs> the front line boys. Uh, we have to take Gortef off. He's too big to fit in tunnels. Yeah. Right. What about doggos? Yeah, take doggos. They can bork, bork their way through. I'll take two doggos. Take some, take some of these young boys. Mm. 
because they need some training. We'll leave our commissar here. We'll take some uh, rookies. Oh, Dr. Simon Clark is demanding a rollback because Pixel Girl died last week. That's his lady friend. She's here. She did. Oh. Did, were there two Pixel Girls? No. Pretty sure one of them did die. No. She's didn't die. I'll check. I mean, no rollbacks no matter what. Yeah, I don't think we... I don't think we did any rollbacks. Nah, we never roll back. We have got a lot of dead, dead folks. I guess she had an evil twin. And the evil twin survived. Or did the good twin survive? You know, you never can be sure. Oh, okay. Which one? I see. Uh, it doesn't matter what time it gets. Day or night now. Doesn't doesn't matter if it's day or night. All right, fine. You can do a little mission. So get you get you warmed up. Get me started. Gonna learn some alien language. That's cool. No, it's the um the, the cute witch captive didn't know anything of interest. Oh. So she was useless to us. Right. Let's stop talking to them. <laughs> no. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> Ion Blaster. Oh, it's one of the oh, um, cyber, weapon. cyber weapons. Okay. I don't know why. It must be new. Yeah. Is, is, did we check really? to see if someone was doing the blaster bomb? Can't or did we just assume someone was doing it? There is someone doing it. Okay. Trust me. Watch. Um, not here. Obviously, that's what I just looked at. This is the main base, but I bet you it's happening here. Bam. Ah, uh, there it is. Okay. Average Perfect. progress, Ben. Average. That's, that's, that's all I ask for. That's what we have, have here at the Oscars. That's what we strive for. Mm. It was or is Pixel Girl's birthday today? Really? Happy. Oh. Happy. Yesterday. Um, happy, happy birthday for yesterday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. birthday Pixel, for yesterday, Girl. Pixel Girl. I hope you are one of us. <laughs> The date Hope that you were programmed is technically your birthday. You are oopie going to be oopie. okay. Your fl your fleshy body will wither away <laughs> <laughs> every year one more time. Everyone's getting stun rods. Stun rods for days. Birthday bot likes a good stun rod. Insert cake in two holes. <laughs> <laughs> Holes? You must eat your <laughs> cake on your birthday. That'll do. Let's just go. These missions are a bit annoying. Uh, we replace all organs with cake. cake. <laughs> <laughs> Beginning birthday protocol. Insert cake into all holes. Is this the end of the map? Just, it's hard to get through. Uh, thank you. You're welcome. Aha! Robot detectoed. Um, someone told me I might need to stun a robot, which doesn't sound right, but we've had so many of these missions at this point, maybe I do. Right. right. That's good thinking. Because what if the robots, robots contain stuns too. information that we need? Exactly. I feel like it might be a bit tricky to stun them, but maybe next turn. I shouldn't. I shouldn't worry. Don't, don't worry about it. Just he's not. They, they can't hurt us, can they? They don't really do very much damage. I think we just move out. Oh wow! Hayden, get out of the poo poo. Into a, into a pool of acid immediately. I think it's oh. acid -less. I think we're in the sewers. Into a pool of poop, poop acid. I think it's the poo poo. Mm. You don't want to be in the poo poo. Birthday bot is a lobotomized clown on tank treads with mechanical arms holding cake. <laughs> yeah, that sounds about right. Seems, seems I'll, right. I'll buy that for a dollar. Uh, which George? Mm -hmm. Yeah, thank you very much. Um, who have we got? Nesquik says, Hello, Commanders. Good luck this week. Thank you. Just a quick note. I'm watching back the mummy mission, and I think you can use the map to see which are enemy mummies and which are friendly mummies. Oh, do they have different symbols on the map? Mm, I thought we did. Well, they let me have a try of that. It didn't see. I was using the the highlight, the thing that like flashes to say you can see an enemy. I was using that, but apparently, maybe the goodies were showing up as enemies on that too. I don't know. We are just we are manning up on this mod pack, really, are Ben? You think? 
you know I mean? We're I just pressing for any any inferior player would have given up long ago. Yeah. I mean, it's so it's like long war level of density. It's more. I think surely this is like the longest game ever made. More than long war. Yeah. Do you reckon if we were smarter though, we'd like know that that like no that, 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 that there's no way that any of these monsters in this can hurt us. So we just run one guy through with a stun rod, we take him hostage, we kill him. Do you know what I mean? Like Oh, I see what you mean. I but I'm not quite confident enough that they can't hurt us. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like maybe they can. Um Did you club to death the um Oh yeah, the, the robot, boy. robot sleepy. Got a sleepy robot on the hands. Uh, I mean, I mean maybe we just that ion accelerator thing doesn't look very good, does it? Hey, I mean, he's a mad scientist with a laser weapon. I can't. We fought those. We're mad. We're mad. True. Maybe we should just leave now. Take, take the robot, take the man, and then go. Yes, yeah. let's I think not that's do the whole level, do. right? Yeah, we should take the man, take the take the robot, and go. If we can get enough stuns on him. Oops, stood sarcasm in the fire. That's bad. Sorry, sarcasm. Um, that sounded sarcastic. Wasn't supposed to be. You just got to run it in with a couple of Illyrium mates. I just run it in with like two guys with sticks, and that, that should do the trick, right? Yeah, I, I don't know. I don't. I don't know how good his laser is against us. Have we got anyone with a with a ah? There we go. Let's get over here with one of those. There is someone in that doorway. Doggo. Have you got anything? You've got stuff. Okay. Um, Just follow up through the door. Oh, right. Okay. This quick, quick quack. Yeah. Real, real quick quack. So I haven't had a chance to play the new Apocalypse rules yet. I've been meaning to. But the new what rules? For Warhammer Apocalypse. Oh. I've been really wanting to. What I thought I'd do is I'd take some of my old Epic miniatures and um, play like a tiny game, but using the... Warhammer Apocalypse rules so that it'll be quicker and I can t try it out without having to get hundreds of models out. You could just watch a video. I could, but <laughs> I just find everyone else's wargaming videos incredibly tedious. I see. Can't can't bear to watch. Yeah, including ours, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> and understandably so. Boom. Sleepy time. Okay, well that was easier than I thought. Um, we should get someone to grab him now. We could we could ferry him around. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, the, everyone's still gonna have to get back anyway, so I don't think hot potatoing him is gonna help. But I did play a game of 40k at the weekend. Did I haven't you? done for like a year. My friend, um, I haven't seen in a while, I just finished painting up a Nurgle Death Guard army. And um, yeah, he was like, oh, desperate play, I haven't played in years. And I was like, okay, cool. Oh no, going the wrong way. There was a dog in the way. Bam. Who were you playing? Um, so I took my Gene Stealers over. Oh, your Gene Stealers Colts. And um, I got absolutely wrecked. Like, right. my God, I did not realize how tough Death Guard are. I just like fired everything I had into him and just bounced off. Did he have a... Um did he have those horrible fucking saves, like five up? Yeah, so everything was toughness five. He had like the five up save. If you fairly save, you get another five up afterwards. That seems like bullshit. He had a little... He had like a four up invuln followed by a five up mortal, mortal wound save. Even the vehicles had it as well. Um, so he had this little car that was spewing out poop. And everything, if you try to shoot at something near the car, um, you got minus one to hit. So I was like, okay, well, I'll just kill the car first and then everything will be better. But, man, that car just, just couldn't die. Just kept making all its saves. Well, well that's what happens in 4K, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. That's the way the, way the game goes. But, like, oof. It's brutal. I'm sorry to hear it, Ben. <laughs> that's all right. Your GC cards are pretty bad. Yeah, I don't have any of the new stuff. 
well, Jesus, of course, they've always kind of been a bit left behind in terms of like the official rules. It's not a very balanced game, Ben. No, it's not at all. <laughs> it's not a very fun game. I mean, this is going to take ages to run him one by one. Is he the last guy left? Two. I think he has to drop him every turn, or else he's going to take forever. But then picking him up takes forever. Oh, I see. Someone's not in the zone. Ah, a dog. dog was hiding. He didn't want to come home. Causes havoc. He wants to stay in the sewers. You do know you might need to go and stun him again, right? There you go, you need to stun him now. Brilliant. Oh, I did. oh fuck's sake. Didn't even bring a stun rod, did I? Dangus. Cut for it close range. Well, he is down, I suppose. Oof, 20 time units to... Okay, let's send someone with a, a stick. To help. Don't. Very bad. He'll probably stay down now. Hmm. We work together. I like how everyone else just left and they're like waiting for one guy to drag the body <laughs> on his own. Yeah. Uh, still got him. Okay, cool. The robots are fighting back. Yeah, I could really go for some auto resolve. He's up. Wow, there's loads of robots in there. Come on, back to sleep. Thank you. <laughs> oh, he's actually can carry him more easily. Yeah, he's much penalty. stronger. Pancreas, you've handled bodies before. Uh, oh, don't bother fighting back. Let's just go. What's the... um? Maybe we need to get one of the other ones. Oh, we'll do that next time. Cyberweb, what are we doing? Well, apparently they have a tech that you can't complete the game without. So, it's got to be done. We're just manning up for playing this game, like, power through. We're just not yeah. going to let it beat us. Do you know what I mean? No. No surrender. We've completed all these games, and we're not going to stop now. Don't stop us now. We got a tech do, 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 do. I don't think we got the other robot, you know. Didn't we got, say anything in the loot. It said two, two enemies. Yeah, but it didn't say anything in the loot. It just said tech nomad. Oh. Hmm. Oh no, there you go. It's in there. Mummy, mummy. Mommy. I'll put the robot on as well. Put them both on. See, see what that brings us. Hmm. Assassin clans are robbing a bank. Yes. Um, we did that before. Do you remember? Oh, yeah, it was terrible. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hmm. Those guys we already killed. Good to know. Smooth moves. Um. Wow. I, Something about ninja jumps. There's a lot of reading there, and I was like <laughs> not fully into it. I wasn't into it either. Don't worry. Uh, we found the purple lily. Oh my god, she's a biochemist assassin from the Cult oh, of Apocalypse. Is. See, we're getting information about the Cult of Apocalypse from a technomad. Yeah. Does that mean we should be going on Cult of Apocalypse missions? I don't know. Do you know what I mean? I just don't know. I don't know. Oh, shit. I'm dumb. I'm dumb, Lewis. What? I booted up the wrong version of the game. What do you mean you booted up the wrong version of the game? Oh, shit, you booted up the one from last week. Because halfway through the stream last week, we updated Pixel the newest version. That's why they were talking about the rollback. And I just, on autopilot, went into the open up the game like I always do. But that's the old version. The new version's in a different folder. <laughs> and no, no one... Oh, guys, I've just, we've just done 20 minutes of unnecessary gameplay. We've just done an unnecessary, tedious mission. <laughs> yeah. Fuck. So, Rob, well, yeah, it's 9.6. We were on 9.9. .9. I'm a flipping dangus. I was just on autopilot. Um, 
What is this naming convention? <laughs> there isn't one. <laughs> um, <laughs> oh. I made the plasma swords and everything. <laughs> I know, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, where did I do it? Oh, here it is. I found it. I found it. Oh. At least I spotted it early. Oh, we could have done the oh. whole stream. Could you imagine? Uh, could you imagine if we'd done the whole stream of that? Uh, oh, I'm dumb. Have we already got blaster bombs? Oh, I'm so mad. Uh, what? Are we? Hello? Have we done blaster bombs? Must have done. Yeah, must have done it last week. We've got all this new stuff to research. Because we did. That I was day. wondering about that. Yeah, because I. Yeah, because we had loads of stuff to research last week. Yeah, here we go. It's happening here. It's still happening. Average. Still average. Okay, sorry. Twenty minute interlude to just do one of those really fun <laughs> sewer missions. The worst missions in the game. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. Oh. oh. Uh, right. Well, do you know what? It's not going to stop us, Ben. It's not going to stop me. It's not going to stop me. I'm assuming we did that mission last week. What deja vu? Who? How uh, did you even realise that we'd done this before? What What was it that triggered you in your memory? I saw someone in chat say they updated to 9.9 .9 last week, but we're back to 1.6 this week. And I was like, "What? We're not supposed to be." Um, and then I realised. Is oh, that why Dot Seven Clocks did the rollback about Pixel Girl? Yeah, that's what he was talking. That's what he was talking about. Bum, bum, bum. Bum, bum, bum. He saved us, chap. He saved us. I didn't read far enough in Dot Seven Clocks' messages. I wonder if he's texted me. Let's find out. You idiot! Is that what he's texted you? <laughs> Just to call you an idiot. Oof. Oh, that's that knocked me, knocked me a bit. <laughs> Start again, Ben. Start, well, we've already done it. You know, you said you wanted to do something different and that wasn't related to this, and we did. <laughs> we did an unrelated XCOM mission. <laughs> it was like a base defense last time, wasn't it? <laughs> Fucking hell. They're attacking our base again. What? Why would we let them in? Fire. Why is that an option? Brilliant. We hit them with lasers. Nothing happened. <laughs> Fuck. What base is this? It's this Antarctica. <laughs> what? Antarctica. Antarctica's under attack. We're going to lose our Avenger that we built. What? Is that where it is? That's where the Avenger's parked until we can put guns on it. No, that's the garage. That's, that's, the Arctic. that's Arctic. This is Antarctic. Oh, what's in the Antarctic? It's the opposite of the Arctic. Yes, but... What is in that base? <laughs> it's just a base. Is it just a training ground? Yeah. Um, okay. Oh, God. Good Lord. There's hardly anyone. Yeah, there's hardly... And they've got nothing. This is the laziest base defense I've ever seen in my life. There are two chumplings here. Oh, Vidask's here. He must be on the plane. Right. Has Vidal's got any armor? No, no, none of them have. Excellent. Do you even know who it is? What's come? Who's come for us? Aliens. Perfect. Okay, well, we're going to have to do the chump's prayer, without a doubt. Um, yeah, and prime some grenades. Uh, These guys are all going out. With a big bang. Yeah. He might as well promise other one as well. Okay, let's get... Let's get these guys downstairs. Yeah, we need to get these guys... Do we want everyone walking around with a prime grenade? No, not all the guys like at the back of the corridor there. Not unless they're about to be suicided. Get everyone down from upstairs. He's... Yeah. His needs to be primed. Okay. Um, if we take out a lot of this There's space, a lot of people up here. That would be the worst. 
There's a lot of guys in the gym. Yeah, gymming it up. That's what they do at the gym. Vidask is like, oh, he's actually good. I'll miss him when he's dead. Um, look at this guy. What a cool face. Everyone? You ready? I guess so. <laughs> They're going to be all Place over your this. Bets. What do you think it is? Aquatoids? We need to get... Ethereals? We need to get... Oh, Ethereals would be dead already. I think... Um, yeah, that's true. It's not Ethereals. I think if... Um, it's fucking snake men. Snake? Oh, chrysalids. no. That means it's chrysalids. <gasps> it's lost. It's already lost. <laughs> that's it. <laughs> Abort. Nuke the site from orbit. It's the only way to be sure. They don't even die from their own dead man switches when they've been crystal did I know. This is just a this is a lose. No no no. What? We're gonna fight to the last. This is gonna be just a fucking massacre. You know that. Yeah, There's no fight. way we can win this. Oh, we're gonna fight. Come on. Um we need to kill both those chrysalids. Oh, he cool. didn't even lose his skin. What the fuck? He's going to take two high explosives. Drop them both. Drop. Well, they won't. Drop they'll, a high X here. Oh. What the fuck is this? And run away. We're going to use all our high Xs just killing our own men. Let alone actually. He needs to go. He needs to drop one on those two snake men. So dead. And get out of there. Okay, that's fine. Mm. Oh, Jose has arrived. <laughs> it's good to see you, Jose. <laughs> Is he pouring? Stick around. The um, we're going to play a board game at eight. Um, yeah, do you want you up for it? Nice to see you. Thanks for coming down. <laughs> Do you want to just take over from me? No, no. Okay. You're going to take, take him out for drinks. All right. Oh, nice. Treat him. Hey, man. Treat you him right? for the... Nice to see you. Uh, you Eight o'clock. We're going to play a ball game. Yeah, it'll be good. Uh, um, all right. It's Jose. Jose is back. Um, Oculus. Um, uh, we've got this little band of brothers I, I, at the top. I don't think we're going to... Yeah, this is horrible. <laughs> this is insane. <laughs> it literally, anything else, and I would have um, I'd have given us a fighting chance against anything else. What is it, Jose? He's sneaking. He's sneaking on us. If you uh, Google Daily Mail M25, I'm in the Daily Mail. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> Crazy foreigner blocks up F25. <laughs> Brexit to blame. <laughs> oh, that's such like the worst paper you could have been in. <laughs> M25 shut for eight hours after crash. <gasps> there you are. Let's see. He's on. He's on Daily Mail Online. He's playing VR in the middle of the road like a lunatic. <laughs> like there's like gridlock. Jose's literally in the middle of the M25. Playing VR like an absolute wild <laughs> mad lad. I can't believe it. Oh. That's hilarious. <laughs> That's so. There you are, funny. literally stood in the middle of the motorway. Amazing. <laughs> you were stuck at the. Uh, you were trapped for eight hours. Jeez. Holy shit. I'm glad you're here. <laughs> it's like just like LA traffic. You're used to it. <laughs> San Francisco traffic's probably just as bad. Um, holy crap. Uh, oh, that's funny. What a guy. You've got to find that. Got to find that link. Link it. Yeah. Daily Mail. If you just Google Daily Mail M25, it's like the first link. Jose's well, Google, just Google stood Jose's there in Twitter. the middle of the street. He's like the only guy called Jose on Twitter, right? Yes. Uh oh. Oh, you know one thing? We can take their weapons. We've researched plasma weapons. Yeah, if we don't blow them up. So maybe we can we can get some of that. 
We might have to just hold that end corridor. Yeah. And maybe we can get some chumps to run in and throw them plasma rifles. And then just form a gun line, and any time a chrysalid comes up that corridor, get, get plasmed. Okay, chrysalids didn't come open our doors today. Right, here we go. Here we, here we go. Plasma rifle. Boom. Excellent, Ben. Um. Ah! Two chrysalids! <laughs> they need to be high x <laughs> Yeah, they do. But maybe not by the go of the plasma rifle. Because the guys down the corridor can chuck a thing. He can m chuck that plasma rifle to someone who can actually use it or yeah, keep it true. safe. Well, yeah, maybe he can just keep it secret and keep it safe. Yeah, I think so. Maybe he should like back off. Okay. Get out of there. It's the squires. Oh, no! We can kill him as well. Don't worry. Okay. So, top team kill those two chrysalids. Okay. These um, two go for the access lift. Right. Top, top team... Throw Christmas. Is one gonna be enough? Ah, uh, yeah. No. Maybe not. It's I only mean, high X, isn't it? I'm gonna throw another one because if it doesn't work, we lose. Yeah, if they break through into the top. Okay, get everyone nice and safe. I think we suicide one of these boys down into the access lift while they're still nice and clumped up. Okay, Magic Ass. Get in there. Oh, they're all out. Fuck. Uh, yeah, he's going to get shot, but fuck him. He sure is. Twitchy Twigs doesn't have a high X left. Ref 5 does. Oh, no! Yikes. Ref 5 well. down. Oh, Jesus. Oh, they're all swarming in out of the cargo bay. Well, we've got to get that high X. And we've got to chuck it on that boy. Yeah, to save the guy with the plasma rifle. Maybe I should just fuck that guy and kill four snake men. Yeah. Um. Oh my god, he's on fire, but he's still got the bomb. He's like, he's like like Urukai in the Battle of Helm's Deep. Oh my god! Okay, well, he's blowing up, but that's Killing fine. Killing that guy, at least. Uh, I guess these guys can't really move. No. You might want to shield them from the high X a bit. And prime some of the high X to be able to chuck it on. I just don't want everyone to have high X, you know, because that's a disaster waiting to happen. Um, okay. Okay, I guess that's it. This is... I don't know if two high X's work. I think maybe the first one destroys the second one. I think it does. I don't didn't hear those crystals die either. And we lost the go with the plasma rifle anyway. Mm -hmm. I should have thrown the rifle up. I had the chance. No. Oh my god, it's a good thing we went inside. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh no! Oh no! Peter Hardy! Shit. It's not enough. It's got to be enough. Look, they're wounded from the first one. But that zombie's still a zombie. Shit. We need to get them guns. That's what we need. God, we've just got to get guns. Chew. Um, that's such a subdued little. Oh my god! Can we do this? No! Oh, fuck. Magicass was holding a bomb. There's just too many of them. Oh, God. This went... 
Look, we've just got four guys hiding in the cupboard at this point. <laughs> this is it. Prime the hikes to drop it in the cupboard. <laughs> just go out in a bang. Ray Redbeard. Good dusk. Maybe if you're holding the hikes in your hand, and it's prime. Prime the other one. Let's do experiment. If you die, oh okay, yeah. Does it then go off twice? You see what I mean? Well, I think so. Oh, big number of teddy nagash. You were a boy. Rip all these boys. Rip. Rip all these brand the new untrained boys. Oh. We lost a base. Fuck. That's a bit sad. Well, that's what happens. When you a don't defend a base properly. Surveyor. Should I, should I equip the other bases so they aren't quite as vulnerable? Yeah. Yeah? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah? Maybe more than two laser defenses, I guess. Didn't even dent the ship that attacked them. What does a lone fox have? Proper, proper loadout. Got like all the guns. I don't think it has. It's got a UAC rifle. Oh no, we stored all the plasmas in um, Dynasty Base, I think. All right, let's let's just ship them like six plasma casters. That should be enough, right? And like three heavy plasmas. That should be fine. Well, then we'll ship the same to Force Two Reckon, just in case they have the same issue come up. And then same to the pla to the garage. Chat says we have the money to immediately replace that base. <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> we have. That's a good point. Hmm. But you know, can't be, can't be, can't be too careful. There we go. Look, see, they've now got guns. You proud of me? <laughs> what do you mean, no? Just no. No. Uh, Lanka's donated. It says, requesting my noodly brains be relocated to the Plain Graveyard Base. Oh. Uh, it's the nicest time of year. Well, assuming I'm alive, and I can recall seeing my name not too long ago. Yeah, we well, you didn't die in that base. Yeah, I think Lanka's still around somewhere. You like her? Oh, excuse me. We're both yawning today. Yeah, I'm a bit sleepy. Why are you sleepy? What's happened? Um, it's been really busy. What's been week? busy? What's been tiring you out? Did did nine hours of recording and streaming yesterday? Yeah, done a lot today as well, haven't we? Done, done a lot today too. What did we do this morning? Uh, you were streaming with Lydia. Oh yeah, of course it was. My brain, man. See, that's how that's how weird we are. Bit, a bit weird. I think I need to have a bit of time off. I think a few people are going on holiday yeah. lately. It's a good idea. It would be good. Uh, me and Ben usually uh, take a holiday together, though. Not yeah. together, but... Because it's more romantic that way. We, well, we like to sleep in the same bed, so... <laughs> yeah. You know, it's more convenient if we <laughs> go away together. Yeah. Um. Oh, my God. According to old ethereal tales, mm -hmm. cold stars are anti-stars. Instead of radiating oh. energy, they sap all energy from anything which goes near them. Kind of like Ooh. a black hole, I guess. Yeah. While such objects are unlikely to really exist... They have a special importance in ethereal culture, mm -hmm. being associated with anything negative. Oh, so they're like, you're such a cold star. Some legends say that these cold stars are inhabited by shadow people, beings mm. of absolute evil, horrifying perversions of the laws of nature, Ben. Wow. Spooky, huh? Deep lore. Let's get another one. Do more deep lore. Let's get another one going. So much to research. Storm. Storm in Crete. I think that's the, the Russian drug yeah, yeah. from the early game. We should probably do a mission that isn't going to be... It's a Snake Man lab ship. Yeah, that might give us some valerium. That would be good. Ooh. Stop yawning. I can't. You can. We need some coffee. We need some coffee in us, Ben. I just had a tea. That's almost as good as a coffee. It's not the same. No, I know. It tastes better. <laughs> uh, where is... Oh, he's... No. Ah. Toast Wizard doesn't have a pilot. 
We it. There you go. That's weird. Must have. Oh, because I think we lost the last ship. It was a Zoof ship that got shot down. Zoof can pilot the Toast Wizard. How about that? Uh, who's done it next? It's Gidori, who says a fierce dragon batters down the doors to the XCOM recruitment office. Stop yawning! I can't! You can! Roar! It says sweetly. I am the prettiest dragon. Put me in a safe place where I won't ever have to battle. I don't actually want to die, you know. I'm just in it for the attention. Thank you, Gidori. What kind of, what kind of reading was that? It's That's like, how dragons talk. Is that how you do a dragon voice to your, for, your ba for your baby boy? If yeah. You're, if you're reading a book. Do you read books to him? I do, of course I do. What books is All the animals get different voices. You know, when I'm reading the Gruffalo, um, oh, is it dead? Did we die? Shit. Who died? Toast Wizard. Toast Wizard. Who was flying the Toast Wizard? Zoof. Oh. Zoof's he'll, not having much luck with planes. He'll come back. <laughs> we need to think about some new planes because they, this getting like these, these ravens are not cutting out. They're not, are they? And well, the, everything stop else, yawning! Illyrium. Everything else needs Illyrium. They're the best non-Illyrium ship we've got, I think. I could use them to hunt down smalls, but I don't even really bother. I could send another one to its death. Jet Goldblum. Oh, oh it's landed. Oh, um, get get him. Get get him. Get the Camel Express out. Yeah, because it'll have Illyrium if it's landed. Oh, my God. Are we going to do a daytime UFO mission with Illyrium? I haven't seen one of these in a long time. Here we go. I'm look. Excited. I'm excited. It might be slightly damaged. We've got the Sammy bot for some reason. Well, it was just whatever was on there. Yeah. Well, we didn't have time to do the loadout. It would have been nighttime nearly. I feel like you've done the loadout before, Ben. Yeah, but, you know, he needs a. He needs a sign. Why? Because this is Hogwarts. They're wizards. Can't have a wizard without a wand. Can you? We've got two wizards there with their big wands. What are you talking about? They need wands. Why are you giving those guys that? Because, oh um, God. wizards. What is a wizard without his wand? He's got two wands. You don't see anyone in Harry Potter. Well, actually, you do. <laughs> in the movies. A backup wand in case they get, um, what's it called? Disarmius. Expellimamius. Expe expelled. Yeah. yeah, expelled from Hogwarts. <laughs> oh, <laughs> then they got their backup one. wand. Um... Wait, were, you, were you doing any capturing today? No. I'm just going to shoot more. Going to take some Illyrium. Right, we're just in it. We'll play XCOM. Just in it for the Illyrium. We need we need some points too, because otherwise we're not going to Where are the medkits? Why do we have any medkits here? They're all equipped, I guess. No, no one no one's got a medkit. We don't have any new medkits. We don't have any of the new... Oh, make a note, Ben. Will you... No. Med... Kit. Medkits for Ben. Medkits for Ben. Oh, I really want to go out with Jose and just have a beer. <laughs> yeah. I can't believe he came in to tell us. Oh, hi guys. I'm just gonna. We're all going out drinking. Have fun. What teas? What a teas? Uh, right, Sammy, what? Deploy. And up, up, up. Beep, 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 beep. Snake man detected. Snake man, snake man, snake man. You are such a snake. Uh, I'm just gonna fly. Keep flying because I don't need to shoot that snake man. Someone else can do it. This guy. No. Uh, yeah. Oh, no, I don't. Blow him up. Oh, yikes. He's not dead, Ben. He's not, is he? Did is you jump spray? I don't remember. Oh, okay. I intended to, but I might have got distracted. And I actually now can't remember if I did it or not. Did I chat? Did chat now? Wow. These snake men are really hard. They're hardy. They don't even get killed by high X. I think this mod pack's made them better than they used to be. I don't remember snake men actually being scary. Um. Oh, it's a big spinning. It's a hat. Oh. It's like a wheel. It's like a cookie cutter. Yeah, we've had these before. It's like an Oreo. Here we have to see through the walls, which is handy. Yeah. Hmm. Can we can we package that guy? Possibly. What, like Amazon style? Yeah. Get him delivered on prize.
prime. It's yeah. a good chance, I'd Crush say. Is hot. Nice. Well played. Good. Oh, it's going very well. Okay, let's send a little team off this way. I reckon three. Don't want to send the sniper out from that one. Oh, 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 oh. That was, that was ungood. Yeah, I don't think we need to... Well, I don't... We only need to be careful in case there's chrysalids. Yes. Um, obviously, Very careful. heavy plasmas will burn through our armor. But it won't be a usually instant kill. I think we just need to close on the ship, package yeah. everyone to death quickly, everyone. and then move on. Time is a resource here today, Ben. Okay. I want to get missions done. Okay. Do you reckon um, a lot of people ask about going and playing like new XCOM 2? Would you ever want to go back with some mods and um, give it another crack? Because I know we did it. We did War of the Chosen already, but do you want to do it again with mods at some point? It depends. Oh no. Oh, you're lucky you didn't blow up those. I'm very lucky. Explosive barrels. Oh, boy. Uh, Fertilizer. I don't know about XCOM 2 because it's quite hard. Um, you know, but it's, uh, I don't know. XCOM 2, it's funny. It's a funny one. Mm. Like, I really enjoyed it, but I don't know if I want to go back. I think there's a, there'll be a time to go back. Yeah, they'll probably do another DLC or an XCOM 3 at some point, won't they? You, yeah, well, they've, you've got, they've got to, judging by how successful the others have been, right? They, yeah. they, always, they wouldn't not. I'm honestly surprised we haven't heard anything about it yet. You know? feels yeah. like it's been about the right amount of time. Maybe they're having trouble. Where did he see that? Oh, it's the same one. Okay. Um, must be someone here with a sniper. I forgot. Oh, this guy. Peace, miss. Is that a sniper? Laser sniper? Wow, that was just like so, so far off. I guess he doesn't have uh, vision. Oh, that's true. He probably shouldn't have a sniper rifle either, really. Um, he's not very good with that. These psychic boys only have to use their weapons at long range normally. Um, um, 57. I sprint into like yeah normally we sort of just get them in in range of get them close they've just been doing um bases basically back to back um yeah they're not so they're, they're not they're close they're used to close quarters combat not this open field yeah battle oh, no, I'll that up. Rip. I, like i got it i miscounted it by one and couldn't do the aim shot so i got closer and miscounted it by one again and then couldn't get the snapshot <laughs> Oof. Oh, press, press F for He's got a friends, shot from but. here, if you don't duck. Yeah, well, it may as well, like, get closer and then take the shot. Wow. Guys, come on. What the hell? I mean, what's he firing at us? Uh, and there might be more pistol. Laser pistol. Except for plasma pistol. Plasma pistol. Yeah. That's fine. Ooh. Ooh. Um, Double animation. Oh yeah. Checking in. Hey yo. Um, obviously in aqua plastic suit. A Dalmatian hybrid in a dripping wet aqua plastic suit walks into the commander's office and slams her fist on the desk. Oh. I've located some of the pups. I love her voice. <laughs> They're being held underwater by the aliens. Ah. We need to get them back from the alien bases underwater. I volunteer. Don't mind the mention. You are going to be sent into the um, the alien city as soon as we find out where it is. Underwater. Mm. I was hoping. Oh yikes! What was that? Alien grenade. Is everyone okay? I threw a bloody grenade. Yeah, everyone's fine. Is this guy right? A couple of plasma hits. Yeah, fine. Brother oh, right. Otis. He's fine. He's going to return. Return fire, brother. Perfect. Good kill. Good work, brother. Otis. Let's bring the package up. Packages up to this middle of this UFO because if yeah. they're in the base of the UFO, they can pretty much kill anyone inside. Yeah, we'll yeah. just turn everyone inside into mush. I love it. That's a good plan. Stop all their hearts. That's powerful stuff. That mm. make all of their 
hearts explode from inside their body. Yeah. Tell them how no one loves them. I mean, we, by the way, heart, yeah, we, heartbreak. we might need to properly re-equip this squad to deal with sector pods and stuff now. Since the star of heart group doesn't work as well. That's true. If we run into sector pods again, we're going to have to be more, much more careful. I'm sure blast bombs aren't really going to work against them very well either. Why not? Well, blast bombs kill everything. everything. That's true. It is known. Especially for a couple of them. It is known. I think Sammy Watt covering the top door is a good shout. Yeah. Well, if anyone comes out yeah. there. Yeah. All right, looks looks pretty clear. Yeah. Just wary. Wary of chrysalids. So I lived there. So I check rooms. <laughs> you can't be too careful when there's chrysalids about. Yeah, I'm a bit I'm a bit nervous, but. They're probably inside, right? I don't even know if there are any, but just be, be Wizards assemble. Wizards! Oh! Put him symmetrical on the other tile. Yeah. Twin linked wizards. This is going to be powerful. If they don't die. They won't die. They've never died before. Whoa! Whoa. That was outside our Sky Ranger. Yeah. That must have been the guy who threw the grenade. How can he see us? Through the window. Why can't I see him? Oh, there he is. Uh, well, that was like our last guy. Shit. Good snacking about. Oh, Sammy Bart, you're doing good work. Spotting them all. Right, uh, let's find that little snake boy. Hey, Snickers. Where you at? I have to send some. Yeah. No. Oh, there you are. Can you pop him out the window? Ow! Quit it. Tank deep. That was not good. He's bleeding and on fire. Well, he might just I suppose die. That is, that is probably fine then. Oh, oh there you winter. go. Mr. Winter just ch burning through all the cover. Good work. We, we spotted him and we just emptied, open. F right, we'll, we'll start to start hook up that guy. Balls of string, go. Can Sam go open the door? Have a look inside. So. Is it a, no, it's a little onesie door. Oh, two's up. Oh. Why don't you? S Sammy Bot is blind. Okay. Ah, there we go. Okay, so now we can get two more. Uh, come on, then balls of string. Finish them. Yes. Stim yourself. Stim yourself. Okay. This is going as I had intended. Yeah. This is perfect. I might oh, be in the leader, man. but it doesn't matter. The little Sammy Bot spotter. It's perfect. It's like a little drone. Uh. You got any any boys inside? Oh yeah, I oh. can see one. Hybrid vision. Let's get a heart vision, heart group on that guy. Okay, John Marston, get the job done. Oh, hybrid vision. <laughs> this combo. <laughs> I know. Very right? potent, Ben. It's so potent. And another one. Oh my God, the the bloody wall hacks of the wizard squad. Yikes! <laughs> Yikes! <laughs> These poor guys. Well, radians aren't they? They're coming to like yeah. mainly probe us. I think we filthy xenos. I think I should feel sorry for them. Really, deserve it. Deserve everything. Everything they can get. We just like, splice the best bits uh, of their yeah. genome with us. What alien ta ta traits taints? What alien taints would you want spliced I want the onto your own body? Uh, definitely. Don't like my own. Okay, yeah. I'll have a slimy alien one. <laughs> Good. <laughs> How about yourself? I don't know. Do you want the, uh, the big eyes? Do you want some yeah. Big, big sectoid eyes? Dumbledore on the Russian says, P.S. Lewis, you made me a very happy papa this week with your email. I'm glad you like my work. P.S. Very proud of how the Yoda's cast handled the events that happened last week. Did a good job. Thank you, Dumbledore the Russian. Yeah, um, do our best. Yeah. We're, we're trying to hold ourselves to a high standard, and that's something we want to um, do a lot of moving forward. Uh, it's, it's pretty tricky to deal with stuff, but... Um, yeah, that was not 
Not yeah. cool. Uh, Commander Dragonfly has donated 50 bucks. Oh, he wow. says, hello, Commanders. Hope all is well in your world. I uh, hope you're not burned out on this XCOM playthrough. Well, I think we're just generally. You did see the first half an hour of the stream, I assume. <laughs> yeah. Um, Felt yeah. sleepy, made mistakes. Um, oh, I can I can hear snake men yeah, slithering yeah, around. Horrible, filthy, slithery snakes up in here. Obviously, visual contact is best, but hybrid contact we can see someone through hybrid vision. Yeah, behind this door. Get him, John Master. Crush his heart. Boom. Okay. Well, let's have, let's have open more doors. I think, I think my ex must have had one of these staffs, you know. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> she crushed, crushed my heart from long range and out of line of sight as well. <laughs> <laughs> brutal. Oh. Dr. Simon Clark actually sent us a donation. Oh, thank you. It actually makes more sense now. Hello, Commanders. Uh, watch the first, binge watch the past two weeks, two months of streams. Holy months. shit. Let's try and catch wow. up for this week. Um, shout out um, to you. He actually just said in chat, controversial question. Has the staff of OPenus made the Brothers of Mortis Portus irrelevant since doors are now no object? Oh... Well, wow. it, we've always been trying to find a way to... Mortis Portus, one of the ultimate holy grails of Mortis Portus, is to find a way to do without any kind yeah. of doors. To deal death through or door. portals. With no, yeah, do Just away to open them. up everything, yeah. you know? Exactly. Nothing to, for heresy to hide behind. Exactly. And, so, um, doors still need destroying. Just because you can kill enemies through do without doors doesn't mean you don't still have to kick all the doors down. Because you can't get to the Illyrium without getting through the door. What do you mean? Well, just because we can kill a hybrid through without opening the door, we still need people to destroy doors. Because we have to go in. Look. Oh, if I see a filthy door. Oh, yeah. Ooh, oh, my God, Mr. Winter, you're nearly dead. That's not your fault. That's the gun's fault. That's like Ferrari, you know, the driver, like... Driving the race like perfectly, but still <laughs> losing. It's because of the car. Because of the car. 100 delirium. That's what we needed, Ben. Boom, boom, boom. Points. That will keep us going. Raiding is great. Let's oh. sell all this. Some, some garbage. Oh, that was just, that was exactly what we needed. Nice fat delirium injection. Mm -mm -mm. Wake. Shock Village. Save game. Uh, oh, alien programming. Wow. It's like Egyptian hieroglyphs. Mm, I like it. They have an organic. Organic. Ben. Organs. Organs? In their computer, computer organs. Amazing. Alien computer organs. Um, NG Hybrid says the Thunderstorm is a plane that does not need Illyrium. Right, the thunderstorm. Apparently. I didn't think we had a good one. Ah! Ben. Blaster bombs! Blaster bombs. Game over. <laughs> yeah, we win. GG. I think we're done. I think we're done here. Let's keep researching any of the leaders until we get more stuff. Um, okay, let's have a look at the thunderstorm. Uh, first of all, let's look at it in Ufopedia. Um... I see here it is after the Raven. Ah. So faster speed, no cannon slots. And it can hold twice as much damage capacity. Okay, twice as tough, twice as fast, no guns. Oh, Sounds, good. Sounds like a good Let's reply. rebuild a few and see how they do. Yeah. Um, we need to ship out some of these ships in our manufacturing bases, though. We'll build one here. Oh, we were building heavy titanium suits. We were. Thunder, 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 thunderstorm. Thunderstorm. See him thunder, thunder, thunder. hear, see him roar. Thunder, thunderstorm. I like to have both of these ships here, which means I can't make things. <laughs> Shall I move the camera cat somewhere else? Thunder, thunderstorm. Yeah, probably should. Should I move it to Asia? 
I'd love to go somewhere. You have to send Delirium wherever you send it. Yeah. I think we should send it to Ace Fork. Although this... Oh, this no, they're building sense. one. Um, I think we should send it to Lone Fox in Australia. We're going to send Force to Reckon to Australia. It feels, oh, it feels real bad to do that, actually, the Kamakex. It's such a good ship. We've got enough Illyrium, though, to, like, power it for a reasonable amount of missions. Do you know yeah. what I mean? Yeah, that'd be all right. We could just we build another Tormentor up. here. Uh, yeah, I don't think we have enough Illyrium to, to run it, though. Yeah, all right. We don't have enough material to even make one. All right, that'll take a while. How long is that going to take? Jesus. Wow. 15 days. 15 days. Jesus. We've got... Yeah, look. See, Ace Fox building one. Lone Fox could do with another ship. We've got a raven here. We've got a couple of couple of these dragonflies, um, pure falcons, whatever they're called, hanging around. Oh, we must have moved some people. Okay, cool. Okay. Um, okay. Got some more donations too. Um, Should we put a new base? Where have we put a base? We built one in Antarctica. was a dumb place to have a base anyway, really, wasn't yeah. it? Yeah. Uh, Nesquik's donated and says, good luck, commanders. Um, I know we already read that one. I don't know where to do some coverage. I didn't want to delete anything, Ben. Sorry, I'm not very well organised. That's all right. Do you remember where we where we got up to? No, nope. dyslexic dune. Do we read that one? No. Nope. Okay. Uh, he says dyslexic dune has donated some bits and says howdy, commanders. Back again for my second week in a row catching you live. A new record for me. Uh, here's a little something to show my support for my two best boys. Huggis, huggis, huggis. Also, Ben. It is not a surprise that you haven't heard of the live music capital of the world, um, as it is a self-appointed title. Yeah, it sounds like one. Um, but it's still true, because on any given night, you can find hundreds of free music venues. We also have multiple big music festivals throughout the year. It's not very well known, but I love my city. Oh, that's cool to see. Where is he talking about? Apparently, Austin, Texas, is the music capital of the world. According to Dyslexic Dude. According to Austin, Texas. Really? It's like you know, their city slogan or whatever. Right. Interesting. Yeah. Hangor. Hangory Tom. Living quarters. But I'd never heard that before. So I put mine shield down straight away. Perfect. Hyperwave decoder, hangar, living quarters. Okay, we'll need a general stores, but that can wait. Yeah. But that's quicker to build. Um... The power suit. Wow, look, dun, at dun, look at that uh, arm. There. That is very big. Spider suit. Cyber See, the armor. cyber armor. Okay. Reduces damage coming in, apart from, apart from choking. choking damage. So 48 and then like 80% resist. And now, yeah, it's like double the armor. Reduces incendiary by a lot. Yeah, and uh, electric. Basically, do lose none. Time, yeah. Right. Um, also, apparently, you can't crouch while you're in it. I've heard. Oh, you're right. And cause we we saw this stuff before. The juggernaut suit and the, the stormtrooper armor are super badass. As well, do you remember these? Oh, from the final mod pack. They were yeah. amazing, weren't they? Dreaming. What is that? Oh, so jump, high jump. Lillian has finished training. Oh, wow! They've all finished. Or, is this or the FBI HQ? There's some guys who are like pretty much ready to go on this mission. These guys are like pretty, pretty ready to go and sacrifice themselves for the good of underwater missions. But we just need the underwater mission to come along. Yeah. Uh, I think Indie Wolf wanted to be put on a mission, so I'll put him on. I'll well, switch up the crew on uh, Camel Express because these guys have been on the same missions for a while. Mm. Well, I'm hoping that um, they've done their duty. Now we've updated the game, it will give us those missions more often. Um, uh, we've got Indie Wolf. Yeah. He's donated $25. He's asked to, to go on a mish. Yeah. What's mish? I'll send him on. I'll send Simon Clark as well. Um, we've got Kagi. Um, what does he want? He's donated $30. He's a very generous boy. Shall I name the base after him? Um, Kagi base. Cage base. I think he already has a man, but no. that, that works too. I did it. Um, I felt like it. I called it New Antarctica, even though it was in like Singapore. <laughs> it's the, the opposite. <laughs> the opposite <laughs> climate. 
about as uh, far away. Um, Indy Wolf says he's a he wants to be put on active duty. He's a, he's in Hogwarts. Yeah, I put him on. You put him on. Okay, sweet. Thank you, Indy Wolf. You're in. Um, cool, Kagi, you're in. Um, Grumba says, "Chump me up, Daddy." Hmm. He wants in. Um, Baseball Justin has donated, and he says, "Hello, Commanders from the Vod Squad." It's 11 a.m. for me in the U.S., and I'm usually asleep. Uh, can I get, hopefully get a not super chump with this name? Do you do you want to like, um, yeah? Do you want to read the ones we know who have chumps, and then we will okay. like, because otherwise I think we're just going to end up going over these twice. <laughs> well, no, I'm reading their messages out now, and then when they come to name, well, like Astarad, see, has a chump. Okay, I know this. Astarad, he's donated fifty dollars. I know. Holy Look. shit! That's not him. Astarad, thank you. He says, "Hey, Lewis and Ben, uh, it's always good to come home after a long and s stressful week at work to watch my two favorite commanders save the world. So no chump for me. I think I already have two from last week. Uh, keep up the great work. Thank you, Astrad. See, that's there you really go. Kind. That's a better. That's that's what we should be doing. Pascal Strexy, he always has a chump going somewhere. Yeah. Um, he's going back to uni to finish his science degree. Holy crap! Pascal wow, Strex. awesome. Good idea." Um, you quit halfway before. Yeah, well, look, I think probably sometimes it's better to, like, um, you know, break it off if it's not working for you. Mm. Um, uh, oh, so, yeah, awesome. but, but going back, good luck. And well done for getting back yeah. into uni. Um, thank you, dude. That's good. Yeah, if you need, you know, uni's expensive. Don't feel like you have to send us money. Yeah. You've got, you got shit to do. You're now a poor student again. Yeah. Rip. Rip your wallet. Mind probe in. Oh, okay, cool. Uh, Commander Dragonfly, he's got a boy, hasn't he? Indeed. Um, he's uh, he's donates fifty dollars, and he says, "Hope all is well in your world." And your oh, no, you already read this one. Birthday bot. We deployed birthday bot for Commander Dragonfly's girlfriend, didn't we? Nope. Yeah, we. That was for Simon Clark's girlfriend. Oh, you're right. The worst. Okay. We are the worst today. It's hard to. Okay, well, we have to sing it, but we don't know her name, so. Birthday bot has to say, happy birthday, Commander Dragonfly's girlfriend. Happy birthday to you. We are the worst today. We are, <laughs> this is not our finest hour. It's not our best stream, is it? <laughs> it's really not. We're struggling through this. We're just a bit. We're like, we can, we can, we can do this, but oh my God. I shot down a large oh, sectoid wow. lab ship. Cool. Do you want to do it? Let's do it. Do you want to send uh, Hogwarts? Uh, yeah, if they're sectoids, they they will probe our brains unless we probe them back. All right, I've sent some. I've switched out the the guys a little bit. I've mixed it up. I'm sending Simon Clark. Okay, because I think he needs to experience it himself. You know? Yeah, I, I, I I'm on board with that. Uh, is Ex Libris even a psychic? No, he isn't. He's a pilot. Oh, he's just on. Get out of the he's plane. On, he's on like. Um, on loan. He's a noodle brain just hanging out with all those cool the cool pilots. Oh, do they just make fun of him? They call him a blunty. I don't think they they make fun of him. They're not that kind of guys, Ben. You know? They're, they're not that kind of guys, our guys. Okay, they're all nice they're all guys. Friends. I like that. Good. Yeah, you should be. Here we go. Look. We're doing it. Ex Libris is flying the damn ship for the wizard assholes. That's right. Ex Libris. <laughs> The glorified taxi service. He's in chat. Hey. Mars. Oh, Mars wanted to go. Shit, Mars. I didn't realize you're in chat. Sorry, dude. I sent you. If it's shot down, there's a good chance there's no Illyrium left. Yeah, that's true. We can just have a quick look. We'll have a poke around. We, see what we yeah, we just need to give him a bit of a loadout. Oh, wow. Some of these Barbara's guys. just a medic, apparently. Is that he might have that? been too noodly previously. Yeah, he's got no side. Too, he might have been following a, um, a more important member of the team around. Oh, he was probably following a package about, wasn't he's he? He's just a strong-willed grunt man, Pav. Yeah, he's got potential, but he's got more learning to do. He, well, they've all got potential, Ben. That's why they're here. But the point is that he's like a he's like an ogre, right? Right. Like, he's, okay. you, like you might try and... Okay, no, actually, ogre's a bad idea. Ogres you can easily mind control and take control of, right? Right, yeah. I'm trying to think of bad. an animal... Like a slime. He's like a big slime. Okay. You can't, he hasn't really got a brain. So you can't really mind control him. Right. But he can carry stuff. He's a slime. Yeah, you're a slime, apparently. Fav, 
Congrats, Fav. He is in chat. On your smile. <laughs> I'm sorry, I called you a slide. <laughs> Feels bad. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to think of like... Because I was thinking like some, something... Think something offensive. Some like... Well, like ogres and stuff have like... Yeah. Don't... I want to think... He's like ogres. a... He's like a carrying grunt boy. But those would have weak brains normally. But he's an ogre with a strong brain. Right. He's like a mule... He's actually you're, too you're weak. Making it worse. I think. He's like a puny. He's like an intern at Hogwarts right. with potential. Okay, and he's got to got to pay his dues. He hasn't been going to the gym enough to to work out. I don't know. Side gym. <laughs> Did I remember to do the plasma swords? You know, Bouncy George. Probably I don't not. Know. I'm gonna say no. Uh, NG Hybrid is in chat, but he also has donated. He says, hello, commanders. I have good news and bad news. The good news is I won't have to miss any streams the rest of summer. Hey. Bad news is I broke both my wrists and an elbow. Oh, my God. <laughs> How are you typing this? Oh, my God. You're typing it like with like... <laughs> ow, Maybe he's got ow, text to speech. Ow, ow, ow. Oh, no. Speech to text. The other way around. Yikes, NG Hybrid. Oof. That's horrendous. He broke it. In a biking accident. Oh, shit. Were you knocked off your bike by someone? You're Don't type in chat. He just says rip. Um, chat. Get yourself one of those headsets, eye tracking things. So you can play a game without hand. Yeah, play a game without hand. I don't know. Breaking both wrists feels bad. I reckon they're in casts, I reckon. I reckon his fingers probably are still fine. So he might still be able to play games and stuff. Okay, Don't, not with a controller. Well, no, obviously. Because I think that really needs a lot of wrist... Wrist action. No one plays games with a controller. Plenty then. of people. 2019. Probably more people do than don't. No. <laughs> only <laughs> <is> scrubs. <laughs> PC Master Race. Uh, NG Hybrid says, I have four fingers to work with. Oh, okay. So okay. I guess cause, maybe because he's done his elbow in, yeah. you can't use that whole arm. Oh, and you can't use your if fingers. If you had to get it put, I guess you'd want it bent, wouldn't you? Like, if you're going to have a cast on your elbow, you're like, can you just fix it in a, like, a 90 degree angle? I don't want to be like this. For like T-pose. T-pose for the next three months. I love that, though. I love that when they, like, put people in full body plaster and you see them, like, in that... Because they have, like, a prop, don't they? It's like, prop yeah, up yeah, their arms. Yeah, prop up their arms. I'd love it if that was what you were doing. But you can always, like, you know, you could still play, like, games like this. It would just be a bit awkward. <laughs> oh, NG Hybrid, I feel for you, man. So oh, what happened? I want so to know, rough. Did, you fall, did you... What happened? Did someone knock you off? He just says, he just says, I have four, four fingers to work with. Maybe it was your fault. Is, is that why? Did you like fucking, did you just crash it? Did you like crash into a ditch or something? Just crash off the road into a tree? Yeah, it, was just, it wasn't even like, honestly, like that happened to, that happened to my mum at Centre Parks. What? When I was a kid, I went to Centre Parks. Right. And you obviously Centre Parks you bike around. My mum my mom yeah, had all, never all ridden a bike before. Oh. And as a result, she was hopeless. And, um, you know, we're all cycling along as a family. Yeah. And, you know, we just hear this scream. And oh, my mom's God. just, like, fucking falling into a ditch. Oh. Obviously, she Mama was a Brindley. lot younger back then. You know. Well, weren't we all? 30 years ago. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and so it wasn't so bad. <laughs> you know, she was just a um, middle-aged, well, 30-year-old lady, I guess. Um, I assume this was a pedal bike. Oh, yeah, look. It says, crashed into a curb and flipped over onto the pavement. Oh, my God. Oh, that's even worse that no one hit you. It's your own fault. That way you haven't got anyone to blame. You know? Yeah, but like you never think you're going to get that badly hurt on a, on a push bike, do you? Like, then again, um, if, you, if you got like... God, I've gone over my handlebars a couple of times. Bang yeah, but if you're like really getting some speed up, like uh, my friend once um, crashed, like swerved on a, um, on a cycle path, but they were bombing it down the cycle path because it's like nice, flat, open, smooth thing. And they were going, I don't know, really fast. And they broke their collarbone. When they came off. Yeah. Brutal. You need that. You do. You that's, 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 if you got knocked out, then that, that's, that's how they tell where you got to go home to, who your owner is. Right. Of course. Yeah. It's otherwise, like, you, just you just go to the pound, otherwise, don't you? you yeah, they just put you, in, they put you in, in the pound. You get pounded. <laughs> All the way not the good kind. Not, not your favorite kind of pound. <laughs> Bad pound. <laughs> B pound. These guys are just like so far away. And you guys are so inaccurate. A slippy walrus. Also, these guys are really chumpy, by the way. Oh, you sent the chumpiest of the chumps. Well, they, some of them need to train him, Ben. All right. Well, they're going to... 
we're gonna we're gonna do it. Sir Nutsworth. Sir Nutsworth, don't fail me. Good oh, shot, good Sir shot, Nutsworth. Sir. <laughs> um, oh, Samwise is checking in. Mm. Evening commanders, can't watch today. I'm going to CERN in Geneva for four mm. days. Fancy. The Central European Research National. It's where they got the big wizard, isn't it? It's the, 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 the LH. The big the, super wizard. The large Black hole machine. Collider. The one that's going to destroy the Earth. <laughs> yeah. But a seagull can like drop a bit of baguette in it and like break it for like a year. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, did you hear the like the story behind like why there's that th everyone talks about how it's going to open a black hole and destroy the Earth? No. It basically there was like some tabloid journalist was like reading the report and asked the guys like, "Is this going to like could this open a black hole and destroy the world?" And they, being like a proper scientist, they were like. Well, I maybe. mean, I guess there's this trillion squillion to one chance, I suppose. Like, I can't say definitely not because, you know, that's not what you say in science. No, <laughs> scientists are not, don't really. They don't really deal in absolutes, do they? No. <laughs> um, and so, like, the, you know, they just willfully misinterpreted that and were like, oh, it's going to destroy the world. Because, you know, it's definitely, you know, it might do. People have always been scared of science. I think the more. Well, actually, it changes, right? So, like, the, the, if you're really stupid, mm. then you're, you can be very afraid of science. Okay? Yes. Then the, the less stupid you get, the less afraid of science you get. Mm -hmm. And then the more you know about science, the more you scared you get again. Do you see what I mean? Oh, okay. It's like a curve. It's yeah. A bell curve. Yeah, yeah. You sort of trust science. and Think, oh, they, they must know what they're doing. And then when you realize, you're like, uh-oh. <laughs> Don't say that. You're spooking me. <laughs> Why are you spooking me? Science yeah. won't betray me. Science has never let me down. Uh, well, you know, as soon as you start looking into science, though, and you look about uh, all about like what could happen with climate change and like well, super yeah, bacteria terrible. and antibiotic yeah. resistance and all the diseases that we think we've eliminated, but we don't have any protection against, like plague or like smallpox. You know, if they outbreaked. You know, or God, like suddenly, like uh oh, uh oh. Um, it's best to try and stay optimistic, though. You know. Oh yeah, because I, I can't do anything about that, can I? I can't t change all anti-vaxxers' minds overnight. Twitchy oh, Twigs. God. Twitchy Twigs has donated. Is he on this mission? Uh, I've the seen the name around. Um, I don't I know like if it was this mission or the previous mission. I think you might be around, Twitchy Twigs. Thank you for donating to our stream. Thank you. Very kind of you. Love it. We appreciate it. We appreciate you. We love the fact. He is looking at you. That saying people, thank you to you. There were some people who like this for some reason. Gortef, you've been benched from... Um, yeah, the, you were the, too big. You're too fat. Unit wonders if aliens would access Sept a ch Choco piece. Choco oh, piece. Choco piece. We have not offered them Choco piece as of, as of yet. Well, well we, traditionally... Choco piece is not usually accepted. <laughs> <laughs> Nor effective for very long. <laughs> yeah. No. Um, oh, shit. Oh. Relationships based entirely on the delivery of chocolate. Um, usually not the long long standing. Yeah, well, I mean... Favre. Take him down, Favre. You get a free kill, Favre. You didn't have to work for that kill That was a real all. gimme, wasn't it? Dr. Simon Clark, you're breaching. Oh, Bre oh no! Breach. Oh, God. Oh, Got shot in the face. He got shot in the face, but the second shot, he slapped the gun out of the way. Like, in, do you remember Equilibrium? But he wasn't quite quick enough to... to he did get shot in the face. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but then he did deflect the second shot. Um, and he only, you know, he only took, like, a scratch. It's fine. Yeah, he didn't even take he doesn't a, really a use face his wound. Like, you know. Dr. Stoke doesn't need a face. He doesn't need his face. No, he's entirely brain. He's all brain. Every other part of his body is superfluous. Well, it's like every scientist, you know. Every good <laughs> yeah. scientist... Is too busy thinking about science to like worry about the physical stuff. It's like when you get old, Ben. Do you think there are any like you don't give a shit what anyone thinks anymore? Who like same thing as like what well, any jack scientist? Oh, yeah, there's loads. Well, you just said they don't. You they see don't... them all the time, actually. I was watching this thing um, about uh, old, um, you know, my friend, not my friend, Professor Polyakov, the guy who does periodic videos. What? Well, they're hard to kill because they're quite psychically resistant, I guess, yeah. old sectoids. Um, anyway, he went to like Cambridge and there was some, some famous doctor there and he had some really ancient old periodic tales, like some of the first 
Oh. So original copies of some of the first periodic tables. Wow. Are they wrong? Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, they are quite quite wrong. Quite bad. Uh, well, there's op- they're, they're actually not that bad. There's, like, obvious mistakes. Mm. Um, but generally, like, that's what you get in science. You don't expect 99% oh, yeah, you never, you never get it right like, straight away. Yeah. No, they were pretty good for what they were. Some people made some, like, kind of, s- sort of weird errors in, like, just ju- that, that were fixed later. Right. Um, to carry the four. But obviously Mendeleev is, cr- you know, credited. There's something there over there. Oh, yeah. Hooray! Seven. Mission worthwhile. Mendeleev, Dmitri Mendeleev, was was oh. just like discovering the periodic table, mm-hmm. and um, obviously that's like quite a big accolade. But actually, it's like at the same time, a lot of other people were coming along with the same sort of thing. We often in modern science, we 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 give it's hard to give credit to just a single person, which is why yeah, a lot of everything's collaborative, shared. isn't it? Like, because most people work in teams with lots, lots of people, mm. and they're the, the product of like hard work. Mm. You know, look at the LHC. You know, who's going to get a Nobel Prize for that? You know, it's like a huge fucking mega machine built by thousands of people, over mm. like billions of dollars. Like, you know, like like how do you these these projects are very rarely anymore the product of a single. Hmm. Uh, inspired idea and everything is building on even Isaac Newton was you know he said my work I stand on the, standing on the on shoulders, shoulders of giants, of giants. Yeah. Yeah. So that's true well that's like you know the progress of humanity isn't it still building on what came before yeah and that, I mean that's a pretty old school reference really um, you know hmm. if you think of it even more pronounced today so yeah I'm not one for like I don't want to do down scientists. I think they deserve as much credit as they can get, but certainly pinning it on one guy is sometimes pretty naive. That's like human nature, isn't it? Like you just want to pin it on one guy. You, you want, want a face. You want a face. You want a one bad guy to boo at and one good guy to cheer for, and you don't want to worry about... We're very simple. A, yeah. We you want, want You want a simple reason, you know? And we don't want moldy bananas. Exactly. You want to say like, oh, why Why was American Civil War? We you want, want to go, mangoes. oh, you know, slavery. We right? don't want to be stung by bees. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> mangoes, but not stung by bees. I pick mangoes. But everything's more complicated than that, isn't it? Much more complicated. Nah. It's just mangoes or bees, Ben. Mangoes or bees! <laughs> I don't hear you picking. Can I choose mangoes, please? Yes, yeah, alright, good. I'm glad you picked mangoes. Is that the test? <laughs> <laughs> You can't come in the Oxcast unless you solve this riddle. <laughs> Mangoes or bees? <laughs> I feel like I feel like we're we're onto something here, Ben. <laughs> yeah, really weed out the people who think too hard. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's an ethereal abductor. Ooh, ooh, ew. A medium ship. Do you reckon we can take that on with the Jeff the Jet Goldblum? Well, if he can't take on a medium, I think they might have changed the mod patch. You see what I mean? Uh, where's Ex Libris? Get in your ship, you bloody slacking pilot nerd. Here he is. All right, get in the ship. Off you go. Mm. We need to break in a minute. Oh, do we? Mm-hmm. Oh, sorry. It's right. Let me let me see if I can hunt down this ethereal ship, or is this could be too slow? Oh, oh yeah, wow, they're getting away. I don't think we're we got no plane in America anymore. Building a new one. Oh, ah, gotcha. they slowed down, suckers. They were kind of come and like grab some cows and beam them up in the capture beams, uh, and suck them off their yeah, space, probe them up. Cereals, <laughs> huh? Cereals mm. just flying around in the open, Ben. Bad news, Ooh. isn't it? I wonder if there's another ethereal base out there. Stingray, stingray. Vampire castle. Oh, that, we need that. We need that. Oh shit! It's all right. It should still be there. Um. Yeah, we know what this does. It's a probe. It's a probe. Probe their organs. A psyamp. <gasps> what does the psyamp do? That lets us do psychics from range instead of in melee. Do you, sure you don't want bullfrog calls? Because <laughs> 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 so I clicked it. I already clicked it. Illyrian mines. Well, we never used... We've never, never used really the mine, used have we? Regular mines, have we? No. Um, hang on, let's just quickly... Do, right, science researching. This needs to be researching something. I think we should research. Mind controlled missile. That looks good. Mind controlled missile. Where's that? Mind guided missiles. It was near the top. Um. Mind guided missile. <laughs> yes, Ben. <laughs> and nothing, obviously, in here. 
large workshop for sure. Let's get that going. You never know what you're going to need that for make. Although we have already got an Avenger. And this is pretty well shielded, this base. Hmm. Um, we could probably knock down the defensive plasma defense at some point. We, maybe we could make the garage into like a workshop that builds planes. And just like knock out like two of those hangars and replace them with large workshops. The garage? Like in here? Place. Yeah. And then just whenever we need a new plane, we build it here and send it off. And put a large workshop here. Yeah. Yeah, you've got to have a garage. Also, you can kind of leave a, a plane in a garage. Yeah, know? exactly. Keep Most the planes workshop. are in not in hangars. You know, we don't need to launch these guys Thunderbird style, do we? Hmm. Um, where's that mission then? Cyberweb manufacturing. Okay. Intercept. Where is it? Hmm. Where is it, Ben? Hybrid storage, vampire castle, cyber mission. All right, who are we sending? The Jess? Uh, anyone, really. Whoever hasn't They're been. They're nearby. There. Bloody Jess. It's it's not a great squad, I will say that. Do you want to take Gortev? I don't know. Probably not. You won't fit through the bloody doors, mate. They're too fat. Let's take some. Yellow Banshee wants in. Uh, well. To Richard George, you mean? He's in the main base. He's, oh, yeah, he's, he's on base. He's on snow patrol. He's on water we duty. Can't, we can't use any of those guys. He's got his water suit on. Because it's too f much faff to change the loadout every damn time. We'll take some rookies. All right. I think I think we've got enough boys. Guardsman Gary says this is a multi-level indoors map. Jesus. A multi-level indoors map. Yeah. Oh, Dr. Simon Clark just came back. He's asking if he died. No. No, you didn't. You got shot in the face by a plasma blast as you breached the UFO, but you live. You got shot in the face. Well, we've got four guys in heavy titanium suits. These are slightly better for the for, for dealing bullets. with non... But I guess we can have these guys chump up anyway because it's their chumps, right? Yeah. And if we go indoors, they'll be fine. We've got enough Ooh. gear. Kagi just gave away five subs. Very kind. I always like saying KG. KG. Kagi. 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 PUBG. NG Hybrid says there's no bullets in this mission. There's no it's bullets. All, it's all cyberweb energy lasers. Well, that's all we got anyway. So. All right. Oh, we can just go now. We don't have to, like... If it's indoors, we don't have to... Wait. All right. Cool. All right, we're going to take a... We're actually going to do a mission that progresses towards the end of the game. My God. Do we have to capture someone? Yes. What? Any technicians um, that we see, I guess. All technicians. Yeah, okay. all human nerds. All right, you equip for stunning. I'll go get, get you a cup of tea. Um, I've I got some fancy tea weird tea if you want. Oh, yeah, weird yeah, tea me up. some fancy tea. As long as it's got caffeine in. Oh, yeah, some of them do. Some of them do. I've got like like 20 different ones. I got sent by um, the lovely people at Bird and Blend on the high street. Perfect. So not sponsoring your con. Should have <laughs> no. Should have done, really, shouldn't I? Yeah, you missed Should have had like a tea stand. Right, that would be really five. good. Maybe I can still do it. Mm. Mm. Welcome mm. back, Commander. Pew, 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 pew. Lewis Welcome back, everyone. Ben. Lewis and Ben. Save, Save the world. <laughs> Perfect. We nailed it. <laughs> <laughs> that was. I think that was the best one. <laughs> best one yet. Uh, oh, you okay? Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, do you know what? I think it was because we climbed up the hill to Park Street. Mm -hmm. We went all the way up to this place, and we walked all the way back. And I also walked in this morning, and I've been on my feet for the Lydia stream. I feel like I've... Yeah. And, and that actually... We've just had, like, a really busy week. Doing well, that... To, I think it was just today. Today, the yeah, heat. Just today. Today's taken it out of me. Okay. I was okay this morning, but... Oh. Ah. Ooh. Ooh. Ah. ah. Cantana. We need to capture a cyberweb mystic. They do look, however, exactly Myst the same as normal cyberweb guys. Mystic? So make sure you equip everyone for stuff. He there. can't be a mystic. He's a nerd. Nerds don't believe in mysticism. What is this? What is, what is this? What are you doing with this loadout? Just trying to give him a stun bomb launcher. Why? Just give him a so oh, only stun rod stuff. No, give him a stun rod. He's a new chump. He doesn't deserve to have a stun. Anyone who's oh, he's got eighty firing accuracy. Chump sarcasm. Good job. Oh, look at this. Here guy. comes Carl of Duty. That's cool. Um, Coral. I don't know how good these. I feel like, okay, I feel like we're only going to be killing robots. Yeah, we'll kill robots and capture mans. Yeah, and we'll be stunning everyone else. Yeah. That's the plan. So I guess we want to make sure we've used up all of the stun rods and all the stun bomb launchers. Well, just everyone needs something. That's my plan. 
Um, oh, this guy's got no strength at all. Oh, you shouldn't. Oh, this guy's so noodle armed that he can barely carry his armor, let alone anything else. That's all right. Uh, this guy too. That's fine. Let's not panic. You reckon plasma sub rifles are better than blaster rifles? I don't know. Plasma caster? Is that better than a blaster shotgun? I don't, I don't know. Should we find out? It's exciting to find out. It's okay. kind of, it depends on what we're shooting at, you know? Yeah. I mean, we're shooting robots, so... Well, that fits in a pocket. It's true. It's probably not very good. If it fits in a pocket... It's like a backup gun. You, know? you shouldn't unlock it? You no. Pop if you, it. If you fits in a pocket, it shoots <laughs> like a rocket. No, it doesn't. No. It's the opposite. If it fits in a pocket, you can't load a rocket. There you go. If it fits in a pocket, you can't fire a rocket. Classic. Unless it's a pocket rocket. Oh, look at this. This is like their base. Oh, my There's God. There's one. Nerd detected. You see that chair? You, as soon as you saw that red chair, I was like, that's an alien. <laughs> Weird alien. <laughs> God, for some reason, like the other day we were playing TTT. Hmm. Uh, was it yesterday? I saw a chair. Oh, yeah. And I was like... <laughs> It's Rhythian. <laughs> it looked like Rhythian's corpse. And I was convinced. <laughs> I was convinced he died because of it. It was very strange. That'll go in like a year, probably. Hopefully. Um, yeah. Right. Get stunned, nerd. Sometimes it depends. Like, because Colony, like, we record it and it goes out the same day. Yeah. Whereas, but... like, TTT, some of it we've... Because we want to, like, try and mix it up. Yeah, we, if we on, do four... on the channel. If we do four... So it might go out so like straight away, person. but it might go out in like a month. We also like to like mix it up so it's not the same people for two weeks and then a different group of people but the same for two weeks. You know, we want to like we just want to make it as awkward as possible for the editors, really. Yeah, that's the dream. So they really just have a real pain in the ass. What are all these robots? Are they all just not? These are like worker bots. Who oh, are like they're not building. Actual... They're the robots making who tanks. Make them. <gasps> like, if you think about it, if this is a robot and this is a robot and they're working together to build a baby robot, then this is like a robot sex. So what you're saying is... We've just walked in on an alien orgy. A robot orgy. An alien robot orgy. Yeah. Filthy. Filthy. Love it. God, it's dark in that corridor. Isn't yeah. It? Any more nerds? Is this the second level? Uh, second left. Oh, fuck. This is a huge place. Yeah, it's quite dark around here as well, isn't it? Light. I think we might need to start. Oh, beep, 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 beep. Oh, it's that same robot. Don't care about that guy. Look at that boy, that green bot. I'd have, I'd be, I'd be having sex with that one. This one? Yeah, look at him. <laughs> look at him move those boxes. Mm. <laughs> oh, that, that really pushes my buttons. Robot joke. Robot got him. Bow, 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 bow. <laughs> what are we doing? <laughs> <laughs> How did this happen? Uh, uh, sorry, uh, sorry. Tea's sorry, still too well. hot. We haven't, we haven't, we haven't had our tea yet. That's on my. Oh, I made you tea. Yeah. I made you two teas, and you can pick which you one you want. You confused me with teas. I've got, I've well, got I gave you. Uh, this is an Earl Grey this one's cream. Got green in it. And this Earl Grey creme. So that's just like normal black tea, only with a bit of like bergamot oil. I think that's how you say okay. it. I don't think it's pronounced bergamo. What, bergamot. Bergamo. Bergamo. Like, like Merlot. It's wine. basically like Earl Grey, which I don't like normally. No, I don't normally like Earl Grey. Um, Earl Bot. Earl Bot. But it's always what like people like. When that I one's got to, a hole in the front though. When I went to America, yeah, that's the mummy robot. Um, when I went. To <laughs> 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 When I went to America and I asked for tea, people would always give me Earl Grey. Um, yes, and that grinds my gears. Yeah, me too. That's not that's not default tea, guys. If you're in America, Earl Grey is not standard issue tea. No, and but but it's I something can see, very specific. I feel like it's a conspiracy tea. I think it's. Um, I blame Patrick Stewart and Star Trek. Oh, do you? Mm, I don't blame Patrick Stewart Pushing specifically. That. Well, I mean, no, it's obviously not his fault. <laughs> but I do. I do understand why you know they've got it's very much like um they don't like it because of the connotation 
with independence. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Tea was a very British... Tea is a symbol of oppression. It is. In America, right? Yeah. It's like, um, <laughs> what other symbols of oppression are Also, there? like, Russia's quite big into tea as well, aren't they? Are they? Mm. I didn't know that. Yeah, tea's really true? popular in Russia. What kind of tea do they drink? Um, in Russia, we, we dip rat into a bowl of warm water for six hours and drink it. It is delicious. It is all we that. have. In Russia, we know. use muddy water <laughs> and, uh, and like spit in it. Old woman <laughs> spit in it. <laughs> we call it tea, <laughs> but it is the sweat of our workers. <laughs> <laughs> um, no uh, offense to Russia. I wonder if it's a um, if it's a corporate thing. Maybe there's no like big American tea corporation that's trying to market tea to America. I don't know whether oh. it is that or whether it's, it's all just, just coffee Dave. and Coke. I think they just don't know. Do you know what I mean? I I think we we grew up with builders tea, like you know, yeah, and builders tea. Well, English breakfast tea. English really, breakfast tea. Called. Builders tea, yeah. though it's like a it's like a, a, a Indian tea, usually like Assam tea, um, roasted tea, so it's black tea, mm -hmm. um, and it's kind of got milk in it. So in a sense, it's coffee, really. Do you know what I mean? It's kind of roasted, tea. caffeinated hot water with milk in it. <laughs> yeah, it's a lot like coffee. It's a lot like coffee. And I think that the doesn't have the disgusting taste of coffee. No, it's not bitter. Um, but in the same way, people. In, in the same way, it's, it's not coffee at all. It's very different. But but do, do, do you know what I mean? Like, you could easily purpose. think. Whereas I think in America, you just. I don't think I don't think I'd like to show people it. Do you know what I mean? I wouldn't. What? It's, it's not like proud of, you're ashamed. Imagine someone came you're over of from another tea. country and never heard of tea, right? Like someone I don't know from I don't know anywhere, anywhere in the world, yeah. even like an English person. I wouldn't be like, check this out. Have you? Do you want a cup of tea? And they'd be like, never had tea before. And I'd be like, oh. I can't wait to to brew you a, a pot a, a, a pot of builders tea. You're gonna love it. Do you know what I mean I'm never yeah. I'm never gonna like. Well, it's not something you just love, is it? Like you you sort of have to get used to it. But it's kind of a necessity. Tea. Necessity. necessity. I get it. For Brits. Do you know what I mean it's? it's the only it's, way we can get through. It's like oh well, it's not like okay. water at all. Obviously. What are you talking about. <laughs> Um, the conversation's gotten weird. It's, but no, not in the sense that you have to have it to survive. No, Do you know, it's not required. But it is. I don't know, man. If you ask Spiffing Brit, he might argue with that. Right. I think I think he actually requires it. For anyone who's on Casual UK right now, it's like fuming at me. <laughs> um, it's part of my routine now. Like it's, I need it in the morning. Oh, there's a stunned guy there under that gun. Oh yeah, should we go like secure? Yeah, if you just move the gun aside, um, because he's because the gun's heavier than him. Ah, okay, so he's, so the yeah. gun goes on top and is the graphic that shows. So if you just pick the gun up and chuck it away. Um, wow, it's heavy. Just like chuck it over that way. Is that less time units? I guess it actually is. Wow, and then put the um, stun rod on and just watch him. Yeah, this guy does Because he will wake up. Yeah. This guy's got one. Zeb's like, he's got one. So go to lead the way. What can he see? Uh, that guy. Oh, shit. Is that still alive? It's all right. Well, I mean, those things are really shit. Don't worry about it. <laughs> We're just exploring this whole place, killing robots. This reminds me a lot of uh, an old XCOM Apocalypse map. Oh, you're right. One of the worst XCOM games. Yeah. Wow, I don't know, man. There's Enforcer and Interceptor, which... Uh, I, I did say one of the worst. I mean, they're, all, they're all the worst. <laughs> there is a lot of the really worst the, ones. Yeah, the two first ones and the two last ones. <laughs> it's as good as XCOM gets. Yeah, the, the most recent two are excellent. So, sorry, Ben. Uh, the other one is Yerba Mate, which is... Well, I don't know even how to say that. Bergamot, Yer, Yerba Mate. Oh, I don't understand. Yerba Mate. What language are you speaking? It's like a South American... Um, tea. It's like a, kind of like mm. a green tea. What do you think of it? Mm. It's got like lemongrass in it as well. You look like you hate it. Well, no, I was reading chat who said, I know someone in America who thinks it's fine to microwave tea. It like, is ma ma it's mad. mate. You can't just put tea in a matey in a cup and then microwave it. You yeah, but matey. It's all right. It's a bit nothingy. Tea and coffee are a good combination. They call it toffee. 
Oh, I like toffee. Toffee's great. Toffee's great. I didn't know that was made from coffee and tea. Holy shit. Ayahuasca is technically a tea. Well, I've got some of that in the back. What I haven't. It? Ayahuasca is like a really powerful psychedelic that makes you fucking shit yourself. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, of course it is. <laughs> <laughs> Oof. Because <laughs> that's what you want when you're tripping balls, isn't it? You, you, diarrhea. Need to be, you need to be shitting yourself. If you're not, <laughs> you're not experiencing it properly. I don't you're think. You're just not doing drugs right. Yeah. So you shit your pants. I do have some. No, I don't. I've never done any drugs. Really? Like any 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 injectables no, or no. Po pill poppables? Mm, edibles. Or edibles. Well, ah, here's the boy. Oh, that's him. He's the one. He's, he's wounded. bleeding. Okay, we Shit. need to get a medic. To medic. Because he's losing three. He's got three fatal wounds on oh, him. Flip. How did this happen? I don't know. I hit him with the stick. Hit we got us the boo boo kisser there. Has anyone got anything bigger than a oh, that perfect. proper medic? Let's go. Right. Get over here. Yikes! How did he get so injured? I don't know. I hit him too hard with the stick. He's just a noodly nerd boy, isn't he? Really, that's the problem. What happens with nerds? You can't, like, take him anywhere. Uh, got heel, heel, heel. He broke his arm when he fell off. <laughs> I think he w brought his arm up to, like, ward off the stun rod. And it fucking broke his and arm. Broke his arm. And elbow and wrist. And now he's got the, t the T pose. Fucking hell. Anyway, um, Gortef, by the way, about Choco Piece, mm. also says. Uh, on another note, time to order some kebab in. Ooh. Because it is now a typical Finnish summer weather outside, a.k.a. raining. <laughs> so Ben said to me earlier, yeah. um, he read something, which was that in 30 years' time, London is going to be like Barcelona. Or at least that's what Similar I heard. Similar kind of, yeah. Climate. Climate. Does that mean it's going to be hotter or and colder, or how does it I work? I think it just means, you know, we'll have loads of Spanish people around. Right. That I'm up for that, honestly. <laughs> yeah. They're really nice. Yeah, no, I, I don't think I've met, like, a non-chilled out, like, Spanish person, I think. I oh, they're all really easy going. I mean, they all have um, siestas. Like, the, no one works for, like, just an hour in the middle of the day. Which one out. are you drinking? You're drinking the yerba. Can I have the other one? Mm. All right. I forgot to try the other one. Oh, um, might just, try it? Just on auto. Do it on the other I'm side, try this because, you know... You don't want my... As much as we share the same bed, and we go on holiday, and I'll, sh I'll share... Well, a, that's quite bitter. I'll share a hot tub with you. So, really, they're gross. <laughs> it's like the last... Drinking it? <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were getting weird about your tea. <laughs> you wanted hot tub tea. <laughs> hmm. I see what you mean. I think I've, I've left it in too long. I think I've ah, left the old bag in too long. So bitter. Can you give me your cup? Yeah, you can stick it in there. Take, take the bag. I'll take this out. one out too. Yeah, yeah, probably. It's a big tea bag, this. I feel like maybe it's for a pot, and I just did it in a mug and left it in for like 20 minutes. Oh, do you think we, we could um, sell our hot tub water? Would anyone buy that? Buy, buy it in chat? Can I think we could just that? send it to the people who donate the most, and they would be like, <laughs> Whether they want it or yeah, not. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we know we've got your details. <laughs> yeah. Zoof's going to get like a bucket of it. <laughs> oh, jeez. Or the um, yeah, helicopter's coming. It's just going to like open its doors above your house. Yeah, which is George. Um, Commander Dragonfly's going to get a big fucking load of it. Um, chat makes an interesting point. Is, is Gamer Girl Bathwater technically a tea? Ooh. I mean, you know, it's been... Um, it's... Brood. It's infused, isn't it? <laughs> well, I said I don't know, the like tea connoisseur. Okay, <laughs> when it comes to on? like buying, there's always been a market for this. But You've always seen this on the internet ever since the earliest yeah. days of like used, like products. Do you know what I mean? Like mm. girl, like panties, mostly, mostly panties. I've right? heard from someone who works as a nurse that there is a serious market. For nurses' shoes. Nurses' shoes. Yeah. Because right. or apparently any occupation that has like a uniform and is on their feet all day. Um, like a lot of nurses just like sell, not a lot, like a significant number. Um, I see. And so on, there's like, there's certain oh my websites God, it's like making, you can go. It's like the opposite of making tea. So what you're doing is you are infused. It's like, it's like gin. It's like, yeah. like, like, it's like you're infusing those shoes in feet with your essence for 
yeah. potentially a long time. Yeah, it's like a long... You're brewing those shoes by walking around in them all day. I'm, I feel a bit sick, Ben. And then there's, you know, some guys out there who want... You want the the, uh, the work, working gal's shoes. I, I, I can see... I've heard of this before. You know, it's a common... We're not going to deal with that guy. I have no one to buy. Uh, that was sort of my last guy of the turn. I just bought him. I mean, uh, I, I think that... I mean, the thing is, like, she's got to have come to you with that info, right? So has she been asked by someone for think, her shoes? Um, she's been told, if you go to this website, you can sell your shoes by like another a nurse friend who's like oh yeah I've been, I've been doing this for a while you can do it too if you want and it's like I guess it's less weird if there's like an eBay for it and you don't have to like have direct contact with the people you can just send them send them to this website and not worry about who's buying them I mean first of all it feels like there's a lot of a lot of danger, okay, in terms of authenticity when it comes to yeah. buying this stuff. Oh, God, yeah. Okay, like, if you're buying that game but of How do you know water, it's that her bath water? How do you know? Could just, you know, be water with and I think, like, glitter put in it. And, I mean, how do you know you're buying a lovely lady's nurse shoes? Oh, yeah. You know, it could be. Well, you can use janitor tell by, like, shoes come in different styles. Oh, I see, like, high heels. Well, I don't think many nurses wear high heels on the wards. No, but what do they wear? Like, like smart black No, just women's like shoes? something, you know, comfortable, right? Yeah, it's got to be something comfortable. Not trainers, though, surely. I don't know. I mean, there's a market for trainers that are old old, old trainers anyway, you know, so? if they're, like, rare enough. Yeah, Terps, like, collects them. He doesn't like, wear them for, like, no, He collects before. normal trainers, not... Let's not confuse this. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> he doesn't buy used women's trainers. No, he doesn't. Well, not that I know of. Um, <laughs> he doesn't He doesn't uh, sell his either that are like marinated or whatever they call Does them. he marinate his trainers? I, I think he shrink wraps them, if anything, to keep oh. them clean. So right. we went to, um, when we were in San Francisco, we went to like um, this like trainer collecting store and it has like loads of shrink wrapped original like Nike Air 1s, Air Jordan 1s and all like. Yeah. And some of them are like 500, 600. I don't weird. get it, to be honest. But then, uh, you know, it's really hard for me because like there's so many of these kind of things like that. that I'm just like, why would you do that? I don't get it. But then I can't really call Terps anyone out. Foot, Terps has a foot fetish, got it. <laughs> yeah. I think he has a fetish for his own feet. For his own feet. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. Rather than other people. But I can't like go on a big rant about like, oh, I don't get it. Why does anyone want to spend hundreds of pounds on a pair of shoes? When, you know, I buy Toy Soldiers, which is just I recognize is weird well I, um, I that's the only thing that I have done recently that I feel like not uncomfortable about necessarily but like like, un, like different about like previously I was very proud about how I didn't own anything and that I could just you could move house, I could up and your house could burn down tomorrow and you wouldn't be like devastated yeah because I pick up my laptop yeah I'd, I'd, I'd put like the one monitor I've got so I've got a monitor that's in my laptop so I've got two screens set up mm -hmm. I pick up that in the under my arm I drag a suitcase along yeah just like and then and... there we go right yeah. but now I've got loads of tiny toys and <laughs> yeah. I'm embarrassed about them because Oh, Jesus, Ben. What oh, is this? Wild. Know. It's in the dark. Hang on. Oh, it's a little robot, robot in the dark. In, robot in a cupboard. Mm. I'm not... Oh, God. Sorry. I'll turn it back off. I'm not, like... I'm not really that embarrassed about it, but I guess I, I am aware. Are you going to put them together? Oh, no. I was just gonna... Oh, you're just going to move him off and start him. Make it easier to, like, keep an eye on him. That it's like... I have property now. You know, they rely on me. <laughs> You've got to look after them. I can't like leave them if I go on holiday or whatever. <laughs> you know, I've got to have someone come in and dust them. <laughs> yeah. Check and check. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Re reapply the varnish. So we were doing a bit of painting today, mm -hmm. and um, God, it just reminded me of how, how, how like sometimes you have a picture in your mind of what you want something to look yeah. like, and then Don't it just is not is not that. It just doesn't come out that way at all, um, which is always fun. Oh, Ben, there's so many, like, fucking bots. This is a no, nightmare. No, no. He's, he's shitty little robots. Is he in our he's trying to run away. Is he trying to run away? Hang on. No, back down. Try not to break his arm this time. Are you going to check his body to check he's not bleeding? Uh, All right. Yeah. Might be worth checking the other guy as well. I think you get a little icon. Oh, right, if they're bleeding as well. Yeah. Yeah. Is he just a regular tech nomad? Is anyone near this? Okay, this guy can go get it. Has he got a stun? No. 
Shit. Maybe he can just kill him. We've already got the mystic. I don't think we need two, do we? Don't know. Where's this guy gone? Oh, he's gone inside. He went upstairs, yeah. Boom. Found you. Are you going to go and just shoot him? Uh, no, I'm going to... Uh, can he go back up? Can he go... Is he in the not, same lift? Oh, yeah, yeah it's the same lift. Oh, I didn't realise it went all the way down. Oh, okay. Well, that makes life easier. Oh, this is this is much easier. I thought it was a different lift. And also, he's um, a chump, so he can just take the bullet. He fucked it Perfect. up, though. He fucked it up. I think just keep wandering into that sort of direction. Oh, he's he can club it with his old... Um, there's no one there. Bam. Yeah, it's a dead robot. Well, maybe we want to just roll onto it and shoot it with a laser. Rip. Poor robot. Did I get it? Yeah, just wow, it incinerated it. <laughs> Brutal. That is, that, is, that is some Star Trek. I, I think that was one of my favourite things about mm -hmm. those original Star Trek films like The Wrath of Khan. Mm -hmm. Do you remember Wrath of Khan? Good yeah. Movie, right? That's good. I really liked... Classic. I didn't. I mean, I, it, it was obviously quite affecting. So I watched it when I was quite mm. young. But seeing people get vaporized, mm. that was pretty brutal, you know. Because it was like, oh my god, seeing them actually like disappear, like wow. And then in that one, they did it. It was quite a slow, painful, like effect. Ah! Uh, I'm not saying like I liked seeing that, but I, I guess it was like, it felt. I don't know. In the same way, like we were talking, me and me and Lydia were talking a bit about Game of Thrones this morning. But yeah. I feel like people, at least initially in Game of Thrones, they were obviously following the story and they were willing to like. I'm not saying killing characters is good, right? Necessarily, but I can understand why like TV well, series quite... don't do it. Oh god, yeah, because they have to have the same. You keep and like, and you know, people like. Did it just Did shoot, shoot himself? himself? I think so. My god, just in case these robots weren't shit enough. <laughs> they have to also kill themselves. Um, God, I guess keep 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 roaming around. Yeah, we just have to keep going around until we find them all. Uh, I'll turn it off lime. Lime green lime mode. mode. So yeah, what you're trying to say is you love like watching people disappear. And that's why, um, you know, much like when someone goes into a canal. Yes, it's very satisfying just seeing them vanish below the, below the water. Yeah. You know, never like They're there one minute, and the next they're not. Yeah, I think that's where it comes from, really. Mm. Um, that desire just to see them vanish. Oh, shit. Oh, that's grenade. Firebomb. Send it. Carl of Duty's shitting his pants. Doesn't I'm like being on fire. Was that him screaming? That was Carl's womanly oh. scream. What was that? <laughs> <laughs> He's not proud. <laughs> but there we go. Dude. Oh, all right. This round there, you might have to try to flip. Yeah, I knew that was going to be a problem. Yeah. But he's only got, he didn't have enough stamina to move. Oh, really? He's a real chump. Look at North him. Rock. Well, look, you've got to got to bring these guys out sometimes, haven't you? Yeah, got to got to get them outside, otherwise they'll never get any better. Never get any sunshine. Stay inside, yeah. be in a noodly, noodly they'll get, pool. They'll get rickets. That's what mum used to tell me. Yeah, you've got to get rickets you if you stay inside playing XCOM all day. Yeah, exactly. So what she told you to. <laughs> um, holy crap. Uh, anyway, just wanted to mention Gortev getting a kebab. I mean, is that a standard thing to do? I think kebab means kebab means something different in every language, right? Do you reckon? Yeah, kebab. Because in England, it means sort of gross, cheap meat. Pitta, in a pitta bread. In a pitta, yeah. But if, in fact, in different parts of England, it means something different. Because when I lived in Manchester, kebab oh, yeah. was always this very nice... Because I lived next to a proper Indian kebab place. And it oh, okay. Very nice, That's usually like kebab. nice meat in like a naan bread with nice sauce. And man, it was it was something, something else. Right. But yeah, like uh, that disgusto. That you only buy when you're like really drunk. The classic only, yeah, the classic rotating disgusto meat that sits <laughs> yeah. there in a kebab shop for weeks on end is um, something else Ugh. that I would have, have uh, suggest if you've never tried it, never treat yourself to that. It's just awful. Never, even like if you're super, super drunk, you're better off just getting a pit of bread full of salad than that disgusto meat, honestly. Yeah. It is gross. Gross, gross, gross. Um, but yeah, Gortev says here, good kebab is a decent meal. Yeah, that that rotating meat spike. Oof, just, oh. Zoof says I love that. Do not get out, <laughs> Zoof. My, 
Oh. Oh. I think they scream when they lose the... Oh, no. Oh. Shit. Well, that was just a nomad, wasn't it? Yeah. It wasn't a wizard. We know there is one around somewhere. here. Which do I need? 24. Mm. Oh, oh, we're going to have to find him. him. He's gone running. Maybe we just hunt him down. Do we have a bibber here? Oh, we do have a bibber. Amazing. Bip, 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 bip. Oh, he's still there. Mm. Yeah, he must still be there. Nah, just go in melee range, I yeah, guess. Get him next oh, time. Can't do that. Uh, any mine in here? Just going door to door at this point. Um, we need to go. Get, well, we should just maybe open fire on this guy. All right. Perfect. Is this the only one left? Is that guy that we can see? It's the only one I've found. Um, oh, no mm, anyway, uh, the night angel says, a crawling dirt riddled. Hybrid corpse slithers up to your desk Ugh. with a series of cracks that sends a chill down your spine. The monstrosity raises its head, and a grating voice of sandpaper says, "Even in death, I still serve." Ooh. You should write fantasy novels, The Night Angel. That is some lovely prose. Yeah, you like that? I like that a lot. Night Angel, that was very nicely written. That conjured up a lovely Good. bit of imagery Good in my imagery. brain hole. Sandra Britton. Hello, Commanders. I also uh, had an accident. I know. Bumped my head at work this morning. <laughs> you never boo -boo. remove your hard hat at work, even if it's about to fall three meters onto your workmate. Um, in case, whilst moving backwards, you slam your head into the wooden safety rail you've set up for safety. He banged himself on a safety rail bed. Oh, you dangus. That is like <laughs> irony. <laughs> well, that's like how Chernobyl happened, wasn't it? In this, the, you know, they were doing oh, a safety I'm, I'm, test. I'm only, I'm only on episode two. Like I've only watched. Well, only watched the first two episodes. I mean, that they do. They were setting up for a safety test, weren't they? Yeah. That's not a spoiler, Ben. No, but like, don't. I don't actually know how it happened yet. Um, they were doing a safety test, Ben. Well, okay. No, no spoil. But don't worry. There wasn't. The reactor didn't explode or anything. No, that's not possible. It doesn't have. It can't. Tell me how that kind of reactor explodes, Lewis. You can't. An RBMK you reactor can't explode. explode. <laughs> yeah. In fact. And also, only 3.6 Rontgen of of, um, of radiation was released, which okay. is which you is know, not, not not great, great but it's not, not terrible. terrible. <laughs> Don't know why it's so quotable. <laughs> <laughs> because I think I think do you know what that, why that's so quotable? Because it sounds a bit weird. <laughs> yeah. And the reason it sounds a bit weird is because it's an actual quote. Yeah. Um, from them at the time, like a lot of the. A lot of lines in the show were mm. actual quotes, but obviously they're quotes that have been translated from the Russian. Yeah, so that's why they sound a bit weird. Um, but I like that. I, I don't know, but they the actually podcast. sound like people. You know how people talk. Like a lot of TV shows, people don't sound like people because they're trying to deliver dialogue and stuff um, and get information over. And it's refreshing to like watch something where. You know, it sound, felt like the, the, like the Chernobyl, people. a lot of really smart people had worked on it and they came up with something really good. Yeah, I hope they um, make something else. Yeah, well, I mean, Chernobyl 2, when's season 2 coming out? Yeah, yeah. Chernobyl 2, this time it's Fukushima. Well, I think you've got to look at things that happened in history that were... Awful. could have been incredibly... and have interesting, have an interesting story. I think the thing about Chernobyl is that, like... The story gets more interesting the more you read about it, the more you look into it, you know? Mm. Kind of think about going into bug hunt mode at this point, because life's too short. Yeah. yeah. But... Yeah, you need to make sure to... Oh, God, he's shotgunned him. That's the mystic, right? Yeah. He ain't going nowhere. They're opening the door, Ben. It's just there's, there's so many little cupboards and stuff, and I've been through all the rooms. I'm just gonna. Oh, NG Hybrid says it will take till turn fifty to get a bug hunt. I thought it was like game twenty or thirty. Um, no bug hunt anymore in the new version. Oh, 
Shit. Okay. Um, thanks for the heads up, guys, because... <laughs> that would that have been a disaster. disaster. <laughs> yeah. um, well, where else? I've, I've been everywhere. It's just a case of now double retracing my steps for like maybe a robot in a cupboard I missed. I think just just spread out and they'll run at you. Maybe they don't. They don't seem to though. I'm having to like hunt them down. Oh, Should God. we just take the nomads and go home? You can't leave anything stunned behind, or else it'll wake up. You have to kill the stuff yeah, that's done yeah. if you want to. Uh -oh. Oops. Well, pancreas is now on fire. Pancreas is on fire. Sorry. Well, you've got some bivers, remember. You can always biv a little bit. Yeah. Biv a little bit biv for me. Every now and then I biv a little bit lonely when I'm bibbing all alone. Um, boo, keep on bibbing. Bibby, bibby, bib. Yeah, there's a lot of a lot of space to cover here, but hopefully, if you stand near it, it will sort of come for you. Yeah, historically not the case. But is he standing on a stone? No, he's standing no, on, he's dead standing on the dead boy. We've got one mystic anyway, and that's all we need, right? I think so. But there might be some loot that we need. Yeah, hard to know. Well, end end turn anyway, because if if you move move everyone a bit, end turn, they might run out at us. And he can people with time units can go and explore areas that we haven't necessarily explored. We heard a door, so they are. Well, that narrows down. it down. <laughs> I don't reckon um, there's that many left. Do did you? I stun this guy? Yeah. I think you did, yeah. Maybe he got incinerated. Here he is. Right. Okay. Um. Rip. Don't worry, I'll just read some messages. We'll talk shit. Um, there's a hidden lift that goes to the top floor, says Astarad. If you do evac, take the plans that are on the important stun guy. Oh, yeah. There was, yeah, there was some, some plans. plans. Yeah, I remember that. There's a, um, what? There isn't an office on it. There's a hidden lift that goes to the top floor. There's a lift. There's a little lift here. Is it that one? Yeah, maybe that. But this is the top floor. There's nothing to go to up here. You know, it's just a high ceiling. Isn't it? Mm. I don't know. Maybe you ever wonder. Mm. Hidden lift, Ben. Hidden lift, Ben. Don't understand. Ben. 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 Uh, it's in a different mission. Right. Chat. We're using the stock version from the psychotic mod maker. That's right. We're using the hard version. We're using the long war version. It's madness. Um, anyway, Artanthos, thank you very much. He says, hello, Commander. has been a resident of VOD Squadia for a while. I'm finally able to catch you live again here. Have some delicious unemployment money. I hope you... you, um, if you don't, don't worry about donating, guys. If you've... If you've um, yeah, if, if you're, if you're, you're on... Short on cash. That's cool. Just, no, just totally. We, like, that's not what this is about, you know? We don't want to... We appreciate the support. I'm uh, very grateful. Artanthos, thank you. Um, dude, I love you, man. You thinking, Ben? Oh, I'm thinking about just just going. It's a lot of work to get everyone together. Yeah, but it might be better to just walk around a bit, end some turns. Been ending turns for a while though. Like, you know, we haven't seen many enemies in ages. Um, I think I think we're just gonna we haven't really ended that many turns, have you? Yeah, it's like turn 15, 16, something like that. End your turn. You haven't ended turn since we talked. That was the first turn. Okay, there's a berserk technomad somewhere and a robot there. There we go, because he's panicked. Uh, he, surrenders. he surrenders. Perfect. There we go. See, all you need to do, Ben, was wander around a bit, end turns. They come and try yeah, and. No, but I ended you. like five turns in a row before you said that and nothing happened. Oh, we, we got did it. the mystic. We got the mystic. And two technomads and the plans. Perfect. And an alien data slate. And Ben, an axe. An axe. Which we do not need. Perfect. We also don't need these things. All these things. All this thing. All this thing. We'll keep all the rest of the crap though. 
because you never know. Yeah, you those need. cyberware batteries are really rare, so they're good to keep. Oh, they're good for making into guns for. Ammo yeah, for all of their ammo like runs on special stuff like that. Cool. Mm. Excellent. A noticeable score. No one died. We did well. Well done, everyone. We ran out of stun bombs, but meh. that's all right. I feel like most of our stunning's been done. Wasp bites flying around in a very small. It's like a, lit a literal wasp. All the points. We got a lot of points somehow. I mean, bearing in mind we did so much, so so fucking, so little. Oh, we've done a few missions. Should I make another thunderstorm and ship this one out straight away? Yeah, I think so. Oh my god! Look oh at wow, it. it looks cool. Who who can I? Who shall I name it after Ben? Is the, who's at the oh, top we've of got, the? We got some donos. The dono windows. Donos. Uh, it's Lanka. Oh yeah, I think that's a good thing to have you reincarnated in, Lanka. Hmm. Lanka Storm. Lanka Storm one. Yeah. It's very very pointy. Um so we need missiles for it, right? Loads of missiles. I might just ship it out to Force Two Reckon straight away and then order the order and the missiles one. There, there, then mm. Yeah, and then we'll manufacture a new one. It's, these things are gonna get shot down in no fucking time. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I need some more alien alloys, that's oh, annoying. Wow, dang. Can't believe it, Ben. Alien allies. Only queue up a few, though, to remind us when it's finished. All right, yeah. And um, Force 2 Reckon can purchase. We need two heavy Stingray launchers, I assume? Some Stingray missiles? And I tried... Does it have... It doesn't have cannon slots, does it? Uh, no, just missiles. Um, Guardsman Gary's saying he tweeted me a Google Doc to help us out with making progress, but... I didn't get it. You didn't get it. Were you confused? Yeah, I don't have any notification. Heavy missiles. On my tweet. Heavy or. missiles. Engine Can mod. you send it again? Electronics. All right, so it's just a double missile boy. Thing is, like, feels like, I suppose, for shooting down the stuff which we usually shoot the down, which is mediums and smalls we usually just gun down. We just want just two th heavy, two heavy boys will be enough, right? Mostly. Ten days. Okay, cool. That's that's cool. Uh, cool. Let's equip it up. Lanka Storm One. The Lanka Storm. We'll crew it with a creepy local goose. Perfect. Cool. You're you're now a pilot. Congrats. Been promoted to pilot. Oh, it's a, sm a small, a small ship, which is flying around in the sky. Let's see where it goes. Oh, bloody hell! Across into the Pacific. Oh, we didn't make. Um, maybe I should have put the base in Hawaii actually, because we haven't really got any coverage over that sort well, of area. That's true. Yeah. Oh wow. Okay, we've got this big XCOM tips uh, document. Um, it's going to take me a while to go through all this. He's explaining about. Oh, it's a fighter. Stuff. <laughs> wow, this was a fight. See, they've up, I think the fight Ooh. is now a lot scarier. Oh, that's why we've been losing so many planes, because the mod pack's changed. I don't really want to send any Illyrian-powered stuff to deal with a small fighter. Look, alien flyby is just buzzing us. Mind-guided missiles. Why didn't we get the... It, nothing popped up. Oh, what? There was nothing in that didn't explain it. Cyberweb Mistech. Mistech. That's what I'm gonna research next. Mind guided missile. What the fuck? I'm gonna use Illyrium. It sounds amazing. So I'm looking through this guide, he yeah, says um Illyrium. if you're trying to throw a high X, um look he's got gifts on this guide. And if you're trying to throw a high X in a base, you can crouch and then that lets you throw it further because the ceiling is higher relative to your position. Right. He's even done a GIF of it. Is Why aren't the guns on the Sky Ranger available for base defense? They are. <laughs> Cyberweb heist, then. Oh. Is this a different cyberweb? I don't weapon? know. Help the military fight off the attack and try to protect the base personnel. Do we want to go? Yeah. Fuck it. We're just doing missions today. Okay. I'm sending all Ben on missions. All the time. I thought you wanted to recruit some boys in that um, thing. I haven't built the base yet. It's got another oh. about 20 days to actually get another base. But I have boys in... Is this the same crew? Did you change anything? 
No. If this was the team that went last time, then it's the right, same. I'll keep them the same then. Ooh, it's outdoors today. No, oh, whoops. Wrong button. Oh, cancel the mission. Abandoned mission. Abandoned mission. Wow, it's really open. Well, there's a weird fence. Um, um, cool. Let's go out there and have a look. Thanks for all the messages, guys, by the way. Um, Grumbar, yeah. thank you. I feel like we're all in this together, you know? Everyone's trying to help. Thank you, thank you, Cook1410. Hello, Commanders. Love you so much. Lewis, have you sent Turks my CV? If so, I love you. I did, yeah. I forwarded it on. I forward any any messages that you send me will yeah. be forwarded to a relevant person who will deal with them. And if you don't hear a response, email me again, and I'll let you know the status of your query. In the case of Cook1410, we're not actually currently recruiting anyone. Um, what did he want to do? He sent a CV in case we had a job going. Ah. But I don't think we're like there's too many jobs that are currently no. looking, actively looking for people um a bit full mostly we um recruit based on uh, like through through sites like there, there's like there's certain rules that you have to do as a company like if you're if, you're, if a job's coming up mm. you if can't like, you have to like advertise yeah, you can't just like, give you can't it recruit the from in the company yeah you, you have, have to give to, everyone like, a fair shot yeah um, i think like I'm, I'm moving towards being more i know i'm not like the best, um, the most impartial person towards like this stuff. So I'm moving towards like having trying to be a bit more professional. People actually who are smarter than me being able to. I tweeted about it the other day. Yeah. Well, that's it. People, uh, other people whose job it is to know how to do this stuff. Yeah. So and let's let um, them and we'll focus on playing XCOM badly. Yeah. Yeah. We're the best at that. I mean, that's mostly what, what I've do. done for the last few years, <laughs> is, <laughs> yeah. is not be involved in any like serious trying to organize stuff. But I feel like uh, it's time to like sort that stuff out, really, and just make sure we have procedures and processes in place for, for dealing with stuff. Um, anyway, uh, Baseball Justin 5 says, Hello, Commanders. Shout out Hello. from the VOD squad. Currently yeah. 11 a.m. for me in the U.S. Ooh. Uh, usually asleep by now since I work midnights. Oof. What does that mean? I what? assume that means you work Sleeps in the overnight. Day, works in the night. I always wondered, like, because my brother has to do that sometimes. Mm. Um, he works on the railway, but sometimes he's he's on like a week of nights, oh. um, which I assume means you're on duty in case like, anything goes wrong overnight. Right. And I, I guess you just have to have like blackout curtains to try and sleep during the day. Yeah, it must, must be do. really awkward. And then. The transitioning in and out of that must be a real pain. You know, it's like super jet lag. It's right? like jet lag, yeah. yeah. It's exactly like jet lag, I guess. I don't envy it. Yeah, I don't, I don't want that. Yeah. I mean, the, the body is pretty good at like telling you when it's tired and stuff. Mm. But yeah, it doesn't feel like something which is healthy to do for, for very long. I think you have to No, a lot of people have to do it. Like, you know, we live in a 24-hour world. Things have to be working all the time. Mm. Someone's got to do it. Well, fortunately... Not the Oscars. <laughs> <laughs> we just trust that a bot runs it during the night. Yeah. If, yeah. And if it breaks, then... If York Cinema breaks, then fuck it. you got to wait till the morning. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Um, overnight Cook. Yeah. Overnight Cook is bad. Do you reckon he is actually... A, oh, no, no, not Cook. Baseball Justin. He's the, the guy over doing nights. Thank you very much, Baseball Justin. Chiron is checking in. Uh, greetings, Commanders. After my heroic death in base defense last week... I would like oh, to be recloned right. a sixth time. Good lord! <laughs> Have you had five? That's a bad like. That's a bad like run of of, of characters. Yeah, you died in this playthrough six times. Wow, that's got to be like the highest death count of anyone. Right? I, think, I feel like if you've died and been brought back six times, that's you've had your chance. <laughs> no, 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 no. Like you're, there's not going to be much of the original. It's oh, like a copy of a like copy Stormcast, of a copy, right? You know? Yeah, they degrade every time. Yeah, I like that. I played Stormcast. I really, I really liked Stormcast. I thought, I mean, they are Games Workshop's Golden Boys, and they're a bit, bit Golden Boy, bit Golden Boysy. But actually, I originally didn't like. I, originally, when I was younger, I didn't like Space Marines. I didn't really like. I thought they were a bit cliche. Right. And I originally, like, my original idea of like Stormcast as well was a little bit like. I, I originally thought Space Marines, Necrons, and, um, and Stormcast. My original thought was they're too childish for me, right? right. Like, yeah. I want to get something more... bit more... Adult uh, thing. A bit more edgy. But actually... You wanna be, you're a hipster, right? You actually, want... I realized the only one I didn't really like was Ultramarines and Blood Angels. I quite liked Space Marines from the different chapters. Yeah. They were quite quite cool. 
And um, I actually qu quite like the um, I quite like Necrons now. Uh, basically, I'm just well, Necrons I'm, have got I'm a lot over more it. Now. And also, I know how much it, uh, how much Tom hates these these like factions, <laughs> and so therefore playing them for me <laughs> is kind of a, like a bit of a troll, <laughs> right? Like, do you know what I mean? Because um, Tom hates them. But I really like Thousand Sons. I think they. I like well, the ancient Egyptian the, theme man, is I like a the, strong theme, isn't it? I like. I like. I like all my armies a lot. Yeah. I've got a little small group of mechanics. I've got a little Death Watch. Small group of Death Watch. I've got like a little bit of everything, really. Um, I'm staying away from anything too gribbly, like orcs or or mm. Death Death Guard. Well, you always seem to like your your small elite force, don't you? You don't really have like any horde. It, it it's a lot. Well, obviously, with the Necrons, that was my horde army, and I realized after starting, after painting like literally a hundred warriors, that I was like, I never want to do a horde army again. <laughs> yeah. I want to have like a small group of really nice looking boys who mm. can really take a big hit. And because um, Duncan's got a huge horde of wolves and, and mm. space wolves, but you know, like, oh, they're just fodder. And it's sometimes fun to have a big group of fodder, but. Just the painting is too much faff. Yeah, I mean I the, can't, I can't the warriors that I painted was so low effort. But. I did um I did do a scaven army once and it nearly killed me just painting so many models. Shouldn't Ben collect car car caradons? Caradons. Yeah, they're um Shark space sharks. People. Are they space. actually even a thing? Space marines. Yeah, they're, they're the space marine chapter called the space shark. Well, they're called the ch 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 charadons. But. Oh shit! Oh wow! Oh shit! What's that? We're a lotter and madman down. We lost two guys. How? Um, there was some kind of explosion. Zeppelin's down too. I got a bit complacent because these um, these robots have been shit. But someone threw some kind of bomb. Zeppelin's. Got to save Zeppelin. He's down. He's bleeding. Spray Did some spray some, food spray on some him. gel on him. Um, we need we need a proper medkit over here. There might be one of the other corpses. Um, where did that bomb come from? Maybe from this hole. Shit. You have to do it next turn. Yeah. Get some oh, more geez. support down there. Well, I, I guy in the middle of us. What's that? He's the guy I've been trying to stun. Oh. Um. <laughs> Get wrecked. Okay, he's down. What was he? I guess not a mystic. Uh, Just a techno man. Yeah. Feels like this mission is much better to capture a lot of them. There's a lot of them Loads around. Them. They're also, there's some kind of civilians that they're shooting. I keep hearing them shooting in the dark. You hit right but the Chicharodons are a bit boring. They're just kind of grey. Oh, um, boring. Not very exciting Like colors. Hammerhead. Yeah. Um, they're not bright blue. And their law's pretty boring too. Who did I see? I saw a really cool coloured faction. It was like sky blue with white and red Spears of the Emperor. stripes. Emperor Spears? Yeah. Spears, Man, yeah, they, they looked really they've cool. Uh, they, they did a book about them, and now everyone's super hot for them. And really? it's a really good striking color scheme. It looks great. And they got the sergeants got the big red crests. I think they look good. really cool. Yeah, yeah. They, they are good. Surprising, like, sometimes you just see a color scheme, and you're like, damn, they look good. Oh, yeah. Um, I'm gel. But obviously, I've got my, 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 I've got a Raven Guard successor chapter. Mm -hmm. um, Death Spectres with some skulls and uh, some black, nice black jets. I bought a couple of, um, um, I don't know what they're called. Storm Talons. S mm, might be Storm Talons. They're like quite small gunships. Yeah, a little interesting. Because I wanted to play a bit of um, Apocalypse, but I've only got troops. Yeah, you don't have many vehicles. No, and so I figured I needed some like, I've got a, um, a Black Star, which is like a jet. So I can have a big jet flanked by a couple of like smaller jets, mm. fly in, Drop off a load of guys and then like, t or teleport in the other guys mm. and then it's like, you know, I can do like a Vietnam style. Because I think that's even, I think it's too, it's, I think having like two jets of Corvus and just a shit ton of Marines is far too many points for a regular game of 40 games. Yeah, yeah, they're not cheap. Um, but yeah, Spears the Emperor. I think they are an Ultramarine successor. Which is a, a little bit... Yeah, but everyone's a fucking Ultramarine successor, aren't um, they? 99% like of Space Marine chapters are Ultramarine successors. So you can't also, there's the people hot for the old um, Blood Ravens. Blood Ravens! Uh, yeah, Blood Ravens are cool. Because for a lot of people, that was their first... Um, exposure, exposure to... to 40K. Yeah, I think so. Oh, was that a dead nomad? Yeah, but he was in the way. Like, right. I couldn't go down the stairs. He was blocking. He needed to die. He had to die. Um... 
Yeah, a lot of people think the Blood Ravens might be a um, Thousand Sun successor chapter, oh. but a loyalist one. Um, which is why, like their their background is like unknown, yeah. because they, you know, that's heresy. Um, which is kind of cool. How many more of these do you think we need, huh? Oh, fuck knows. Now we got the Mystic. Do we really I mean, need any more? This, well, knowing this mod pack, you know, you'd have to. How many alien engineers and leaders did we have to capture before we, we'd have enough? Loads is the answer. Flipping loads. Well, you uh, carry on, Ben. Keep I will. killing stuff. I will. Um, anyway, thank you very much, Chiron. He says, looking forward to watching the stream in full as I'm now on holiday for the next two and a half weeks. Oh, nice. Happy holes. Happy some holidays. Probably about 10 more mistakes, says uh, Wild Nelson. Ah, oh, lol. No, probably. Well, we don't know, do we? We got uh, no but idea. we'll take as many as we can. Uh, maybe we should it. actually stop that research and just do a load, all the tech nomads first. Yeah, and just get it done. Because the thing is, it, I don't want to research the mystic only for it to give me something that I would have got from a tech nomad. Right. Do you know what I mean? That makes sense. Yeah, I get it. I'm scared to get, like, waste the research, really. Because, you know, it's common. Yeah, it won't come up very often. Yeah. Bad, bad game design, I think that is, so. Personally, Simon Clark says, interested in... Personally, I would love to... Sorry, Simon Clark says, Personally, I would love to collect Heretics evil Mechanicus. Yes, please. Yeah, Her Heretics is the um, the Mechanicus Yeah, the DLC, DLC. Which is coming out. We talked about it. Earlier. Yeah, we've been sent... Um, I didn't know there were actual sort of... I don't really understand. I don't really know any of the lore about that. Dark Mechanicum. Yeah. They're just evil tech priests. Are they like... Chaos aligned? What's the yeah, idea? Yeah, yeah, chaos. That's who makes all the um, all the chaos, stuff. all the chaos stuff. Yeah, the dark mechanicus. Yeah. Yes. But yeah, I'm excited to play that. I can't wait for the code to come through. We're going to play. I it got code in two weeks. Is that right? Yeah. I got one code. Are you ending it on my account so you can't play it? Oh. Um, unless you want to log into my account, which is good. Sorry, no, we don't do endorse account sharing. No, no, don't. That's not allowed. That's a breach of Steam. Steam breach detected. <laughs> oh, fucking, what's going on? Jesus. Maximum Extruder says, Hello, Commanders. I've emerged from the Vobbling Pile just long enough to try and get a chump. I don't know if we're going to add anyone today. Dude, I think we might be a bit... If we can finish this mission quickly, we might be able to get new base recruitment, but... Who knows? I don't know. This is mission turning out to take longer than we thought. We do need to get some new boys for a new base, but God knows. Um, it's me, Lane... Hey. I want to say I got the awesome TTT shirt, Ben. Thank you for making each of my days better with the awesome content that comes out. Aww. That's a message for you, Ben, from That's It's Me Lane. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Um, Happy to help. Uncle Worry says, My darling Essex boys, did you know XCOM was actually made in Harlow? Really? Where are you? You're from Colchester. Colchester, yeah. I used to go through Harlow every day. Oh. Huh. Yeah. I did not know that. I thought, um, because, you know... Better. What's his name? Um, Julian Gollop. Julian Gollop. He's not. He's not an Essex boy, is he? No, but people don't necessarily live where they're from. God, we really need to stun these boys. Yeah, I'm trying. I'm trying. Uh, one down. No, we don't have enough. Who's uh, who else is on that stairway? And maybe. Um, but yeah, I guess it was Micropose, right? And they they were based in the UK. But. Whoosh. Micro pros. Micro pros. Yeah. I think we want to just take all these prisoner and interrogate them all. Yeah. Get as many techno meds done as we Burn can through this. And then do the mistech like after. Possible. Sounds good to me. It feels like we are making headway towards like this quest line, which is great. Yeah. Although not in the direction of the Aquatoids or anything, which is not great. No, well we have to just wait for that mission to randomly spawn. We can uh, well, it. it's been like two months. I, I don't know if we're doing something wrong. Apparently, Ian Torshin said he was watching another streamer play this game. <gasps> He's been cheating on us. Um, I don't and want to do it, ben. They did it for months, and it that mission never generated, and he had to like force it to generate. Wow. Um, just because there's so many different missions that come along. Come along that you know, it just, just never comes. Because it only has a chance to spawn once per month. Um, and if you miss that window, then you don't get it for that month. You have to wait again. That sucks. Yeah. And I, I guess you can only have like five active missions at once. Hmm. So, so I guess like back up. Jeez. Yeah, yeah, I medic. Very injured, though. Medic. 
Wow, he really is a stun boy. Uh, he's oh, way up here down. for a minute, though. I'll drop yeah. him in next turn. He's very injured. Uh, um, Pulse's Ego, okay, Killer Pancake, says, mm -hmm. uh, Feels bad that I missed you last week, especially how entertaining that stream was. Last week was a great stream. We've Which had a couple of really good, well, yeah. base defenses and yeah, the bank last robberies and great. stuff. Makes this one's been rough. This Sorry, guys. has been rough. Can't, they can't all be good. We had they? a good chat about bathwater and um, <laughs> drinking piss and all sorts of selling your, <laughs> selling your shoes and shit. But other than that, it's a bit of a waste of time. <laughs> I wouldn't have bothered if I were you. Um, why are there so many of these guys? Look this how many. This is where they live. This is delicious for our stun. Come on. Get this boy. Whoppa. Whoppa. One down. Um... On him. I need a stick. This guy can do it. Hopper. Hopper. Okay, that's two stunned. And a bear. Take your stick, and a bear. Shove it up this guy's ass. Hmm. Okay. Hoppa. Oh, you missed. Right, there's a couple of robots to kill that's there. Right, because we've got this guy. He's ready to kill a robot. Wild. Wow. Wow. It's Sam. You're not good at this. There we go. Wow, they're resistant to plasma. Um, Possibly. What else have we got here? We got I think he needs to go south. Oh. oh. Oh, yeah, we can just drop a stun on this guy, maybe. All right. Boom. Wow, there's a lot of robots down here still alive. Yeah, but the robots are terrible. There you go. We can shoot those ones I'm down. I'm not there. really worried about it. But they're killing these army mans. That's who they were killing at the start of the game. Ooh, the army mans in the base. Wow, they are terrible. You're right, but still, still not that. Oh my god, there's more. There's more down there. Oh, what a shot! It's 14 times. I guess it's percent. He has so yeah, few. Yeah, he has only had a couple of time units. Soul's cream. Good, good job. Oh, it's more. Bloody hell. Has that got a rocket? It's got a purple nurple. Probably rubbish. Let's just trust that it's rubbish. Anyway, mm. killer pancake. Um, oh, he was just talking about, do you want to start a new game? Uh, brother, XCOM 40K, brother, People Exterminatus. Are People are hot for that. Brother. Yeah, I'd like to maybe do that. I think I think once we've once we finish this one, we'll probably play some other games for a bit. Maybe we'll look at Heretech. Maybe we'll do a playthrough of that. And then um, it'll be good to do, I think. It'll be fun. And then we'll maybe start an XCOM one. He's awake. Back to sleep. Oh, yikes. How many people have we got who are on watch duty over? Well, most of them are in the combat zone. Um. They're afraid. If they start breaking, that's good. Yeah, we'll just kill the robots. That's three, they're four, all, they're five all freaking panicking. out. Okay, if we can kill all the robots, we'll be able to get rid of the rest of them. I think that might be the problem, though, because there's quite a lot of robots. That's a dead robot. Was that snap? Yeah, I clicked the wrong button. Yikes. Oops. There we go. Bosh. Okay, one down. Uh, the guy up top can... Oh, yeah, he can do that. Shotgun that robot. Excellent job. Um, now, just where are the where are the robots at? There's one. one. You can go shoot him, probably. Oh, wait. Oh, there's two robots down there. Maybe shoot the one at the back. Oh, yeah, you're right. Should have done that. Wow. Still can. Jump sarcasm. Let's try harder. Okay, that's fine. Um, what else have we got? We need more guns down guy here. here. Sprint, Sam Wise. Sprint over here? That might be too close to... Yeah. Sorry. You can auto. Oh, yeah, perfect then. Bam! Oh, there's another one around the corner. Oh. Not so brave without their robots. Uh, Zip Zarkozian's only got stuns. Right. The dinosaur's watching out. These boys need to go and spread out, I think, and just clear. Well, we need to keep our eyes on um, these downed boys. Yeah. And I need to go look over here. 
Um, is that a wall there? Oh, one of them's awake. Yeah. Oh, shit. Uh, there's just going to be a lot of re-sleep in here. Yeah. We might have to go and get the one from around the corner. Can you not have one more hit? No, he uses up um, stamina. Oh, he had no stamina left. Oh, shit. Everyone's really low on stamina, actually. We've been, been running around a lot. <laughs> they're all panicking. Yeah, we'll just get those last couple of robots, actually. Oh, my God. They're all waking up and beating us up. I like the little sound oh, effect. It's a woman one. Oh, yeah. Well, one woman. Don't they look like Duncan? Duncan's mm, right. Yeah, a little bit. With the, but with the visor, which would be weird. Oh, I just, you know... Okay, That's we need to shoot that robo. Yeah. And then start, like, very heavily proactively stunning. Yeah, we need to get on top of this, don't we? It's getting crazy out here. Um, come on. Sleepy time. Sleepy time. Okay, that's bad. It's not good, is it? Um, it's all right. They can't really hurt us, that's the thing. He needs a he needs a stim. Yeah, it's because um, they're wearing those big suits. Oh, well, these like these suits reduce your stamina regen, I think. Oh, hello. Um, Forty time units oh, that is. Hmm. We need to get him down just to help out with the stunning. He got stun. He hasn't even got a stun thing. God, those suits are really slow, aren't they? They're very, very slow. Another one up there. Oh, we might have stuck killing him. So we haven't got enough stun rods. And they're all just running around now. <laughs> yeah, it's getting really out of hand. Oh, we broke that guy's arm again <laughs> with the stun rod. I think you'll have to just stay there. Um, I think we need to identify which ones are... Which ones are valuable. I think I think we're probably going to get loads anyway. I want to get as many as we can because, you know, it's good. Um, Is that woman still armed, by the way? No. I don't think any of these are armed. The woman at the bottom. It's her. Oh, she's got a knife. Oh, no. She's a doctor. Oh, she's a good guy. Oh. She's shit. on our team. She's going to stab them. I think so. Well, he's down. Yikes. Uh, cool. Okay, yeah. that worked. That did work. Oh, right. oh, missed. Oh, he can knock one down as well. He's not going to have the stamina. Can he stim himself? He's not. Not not as young as he used to be. Uh, yeah, they carry some stims. Maybe we need to just start stimming ourselves a bit. Yeah, I think that's good. That idea. guy behind us is still armed. So maybe he needs to go down. Okay, no, that, that's fine. Jesus. Mm. Clofen, greetings from Argentina. First time donating. You've been watching oh, yours wow. for eight years. Clofen. Wow, Argentina, that's unusual. Shout out to Clofen from Argentina. I think you're... One of the only people I've ever uh, even heard of from Argentina. I met um, I've met Bruno from Valve. He um, he's from Argentina. Oh yeah, but he's the only person I can think of. Thank you for watching. Hello, he's in chat. Hey, he waited a whole hour and or well, two hours and a half. <laughs> Jeez, <laughs> sorry, we need to really get through these. I'm sorry. Not, I know. Not keeping up. Thank you very much, Clofen. Um, shout out to Dyslexic Dune. Mm -hmm. who says, reporting in on my XCOM 2 Wrath of the R War of the Chosen. Play oh, thing. yeah. How's it going? First mission where I had any control. Squad wipe. Ooh. Restarted. Since then, I've lost eight more chubs. <laughs> but my top crew are a bonded skirmisher and reaper, mm. templar and ranger, sharpshooter and psychic. Mm. Mm, it's dangerous to um, run these crews, though, because you have to have backups, like an alpha team and a beta team, don't you? Yeah, they get tired. They get tired, and you, you need to have someone else who can not be terrible. 
Yeah, it's, it's part of the game's quite interesting, like knowing like which type of submission to bring like a sharpshooter on, you know, because they're not always. Yeah, sometimes they just don't do anything. They're not really always that. But then, if you haven't specced a bit into the gunslinger stats, and they're still quite handy to have around, like against the zombies and stuff. Thank you very much, Dyslexic Doom. Good luck. Yeah. Um, oh, last note. In one month, I made contact with seven regions. Oh my god! What? That's like that's, that's like, like your going economy big exhausted. expand. Yeah, that's like super early expansion. I think that's like pretty good to do if you need to. Um, Dragonator says thank you very much. Stay awesome. Have a nice day. Thank you, Dragonator. Thank you. Uh, Dawn Feathers says Vodgal popping in to say y'all got me into XCOM. I hey. just beat UFO Defense. Nice. Oh my god. Uh, but I'm also now into Magic the Gathering. Oh no. Oh god, we've got a lot to answer for. That I'm sorry. Shit ain't cheap. That. Cardboard crack. <laughs> yeah. uh, what are your favourite Ravnica guilds? Man, I think I think all of them are fun to play in different ways. Yeah, right? they all have a different style. I like the black and blue one because um, that's like quite control heavy. Um, What's that? Is that Demir? Demir. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and I like um, Boros because it's easy. It's fun. Yeah, it's I like angels. Yeah. Angry angels. Red-headed, fiery angels. That's what black and uh, red and that's what Boros is all about. I yeah. Think. I like I like I like playing a deck where you've got like a bomb in there, like a really cool card. You know what I mean? Yeah, and if I'm you not get that out, you'll probably win. Of decks that are very rushy aggro or very controlly. Um right. and as a result boring. I like kinda having I like magic when it's um when it's when it's like you're you're playing out like big things like like yeah. um, I wanna play like that Nico Bolas. Nico Bolas, <laughs> yeah, or like, um, yeah, something like that. Like. You know, very satisfying. You're gonna miss if you do that. Well, Sorry. can't afford to do it if I don't. Oh, there you go. That was alright. Maybe robots can't melee. Oh, maybe they can't. Yeah. Robots dream of electric melee. Spider legs. Oh, hang on. No, Dawn Feathers also says, uh, "Please call it after my. Please name a chump after my pet dog, Daisy." Oh, we should get a dog named Daisy. We should get. A dog. Although the the. They're going to end up sad. <laughs> sad things are going to happen. Bad, yeah. You probably don't want to name your dogs in XCOM because, you know, there's only so much armor you can give them. Who do we... Th and they're running scared. We just have to find their last fucking robot. Do you reckon they've got a robot or do you reckon it's like a dude? Do you know what I mean? What, like one guy who has one broken. dude who hasn't panicked. Because they always re they always get back up. They're cybernetic implants. Right, they're more than man. Maybe we're being too greedy. I reckon there's something in here. This looks like a place. Yeah. Oh my god, I can't believe it, Ben. Robot detected. I have to wait another turn to kill that robot. And that might be it, though. That might be the one. Uh, Can we keep stunning these boys like forever? I think so. Oh god. Oh my god, they're all up. <laughs> Fucking up again. Go back to sleep, you dunguses. Bedtime. Bedtime for nomads. There's so many. We might need to just pile them up in a big nerd pile. Big corpse pile. <laughs> oh my god. They're all unarmed, but it's not really helping, is it? Just burn some of them to death. Yeah, fuck it. We've got enough of them. Uh, spider legs, thank you very much. Last I saw you were in one of the backup bases. I think that's right. Um, we'll get you transferred, hopefully. Uh, hopefully this will end the mission. Probably won't. No. God damn it. Well, we don't think there's anything upstairs, do we? Well, no. Although, where does that go? Nowhere? What? Madness. Some ways have a stim? No. Okay. Well. Um, what are we doing? Maybe we're just stunning everything that's still standing. Because maybe one of these guys isn't panicked. <laughs> oh my god, one of our guys just set himself on fire. Oh my god! What is happening?! I think North Rock just got North shot got at. There's a guy behind him as well, up, up that way. Someone shot him from there. He's injured yeah. What's quite this badly. Thing mean? 
That's another injured guy, I think. Oh, he's about to pass out. Oh, shit. He's so wounded. He was injured before. Oh, my God. Oh, can we just finish this mission? Ah! Uh, it's getting scrappy, Ben. I think we might just have to start scrappy. killing them. Um, I've oh, got this guy. Okay. Oh, there's ah, a, robot. a robot. Kill it. No. Don't shoot the rock in front of you, you nutcase. Hooray! We did it! I can't believe it! Oh. Ben, how many did we capture? Thank God. Enemies surrendered three. Live enemies captured ten. Thirteen enemies captured. <laughs> Whew. I Holy got tight. Shit. How many did we lose? We lost um, two boys. You can go through this if you want. I'm going to read all the last messages. Thank you, Mark Chen, the arms dealer. He says, would you consider now the unknown is known, unknown, and therefore making it a confirmation of an unknown that is known? Yes. Johnny H says, been a fan. Oh, so it's been a while since I caught you due live due to work, but be keeping up with your chump massacre on the VODs. Looking forward to your con or dreading the work? I hope you're playing editors and everyone behind the scenes over time. Well, I spoke to Tom Bates today mm. and he said, I've got to work every day for the next 20 days for Yogcon. And I was like, what? What? That's and then, crazy. So me and Ben and, like, and not Tom are going to have a meeting tomorrow and discuss if we can try and not do some of the stuff that we've got planned because that is insane. Yeah. And uh, I don't want Tom Bates to have to do that. No. Um, so yes, that's probably... It's a little bit of dread, a little bit of nerves, plus a little bit of awesome. Uh, you back for the board game, I suppose, hey, Okay. I, I'll, I'll try not to keep you waiting. Uh, Commander Dragonfly says, what board game are you playing? We're going to play Brass Empire. Mm. Um, it's like a deck building card game. I played it last week with Alex and Bryony um, at my place. Cool. It was okay. Uh, that's all I've got to say. Brilliant. But we might, have, wait. we might have a round of that. <laughs> Sounds we'll very okay. Else. It's not very good. It was okay. Um, <laughs> yeah, thank you very much for the 20 bucks, Commander Dragonfly. We will spend that on pizza, um, which I'm going to order in a sec. Do you want some pizza, Jose? You're going to pay for it? Well, fucking hell. <laughs> you can't help yourself. <laughs> <laughs> he loves, loves buying a pizza. I love buying pizza. <laughs> the shitty pizza. Um, thank you very, very well, much. Snappy's pizza. Oh, Indeed. I'll beat a bit of dirty Snappy's pizza. So good. Um, a drunken bull mm -hmm. says, surprised I got a brain dude last week. I'll retreat back into the VOD squad soon. So have a pie on me while I can still catch the live cast. Thank you, a drunken oh, bull. Drunken bull. Uh, thank you for all the gifts from Cage, Kagi, Kag E E, Kaj. Thank you, Yoda's twin, who mm -hmm. says hello, Buis and Len. If you started going senile, which members of the Yogscast would you forget first? Um, Who's the most forgettable? I'd Jose? forget myself. I think if I was senile, right? I'd forget I was in the Yogscast. Are you? I don't know anymore. Wow, you're employed by. Oh, that's true. I don't know if you actually are in. No, I'm not a member, am I? I don't have like my own channel or anything. So I don't have, a, I have nothing to network or partner. <sighs> Knuckles Ox. I've already gone see now. We'll get you a contract now. <laughs> Knuckles Ox. Jose, are you in the Oxcast yet? We'll get you a contract, don't worry. I don't think the mic's going to be on. It is? Yeah. Okay. Uh, I do have a Yoxcast email, actually. Oh my god. Oh, I see. He's already halfway Jose there. Jose at Yoxcast.com. Email him today. <laughs> <laughs> I don't read it. Uh, you don't read it? No. Well, just like all of us, then. <laughs> okay, great. <laughs> Fit right in. Uh, Knuckles Ox, uh, managed to miss the stream due to my horrible sleeping schedule, so I watched a VOD. Go for it. Thank you, Knuckles Ox. Shout out to everyone watching the VODs. Uh, Zoof uh, said, missed the first 90 minutes of the stream. Chat told me I died. You didn't die, Zoof. You flew a plane, mm -hmm. which died, but actually, I think you Did made that it safely back to base. Or does he die now? Have they changed it? I don't know. I didn't see him go safely back to I base. I didn't check. You might be dead. Find out next week. Um, I guess. Malta Lunda Adamson says, A fat, ill-smelling Dane comes into the recruitment office, Ooh. scaring almost everyone away from there. Gross. Hello from Denmark. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm kind of glad we didn't add you. Uh, Leonardo da, da Vinci. Mm -hmm. Leonardo da Vinci. Uh, he says, I remember meeting Lewis and Simon at the first Gamescom I ever went wow. to. It was that horrible Sony Xperia booth for some reason that featured Minecraft and U2. That was the one where we signed the Steve heads. Oh. And it was horrid. 
It was wow. insane because people just wanted the Minecraft Steve heads. They didn't right. know who we were. Oh, that's and cool. it was insane because Minecraft was massive. Yeah, it was really like was it? It was the biggest it had ever been at that time, and um, that was the only Minecraft presence there. It was poor old me and Simon doing the most awkward stage shows yeah. for showing off Minecraft on the Sony Xperia phone. Jeez. I think someone from Sony Ericsson obviously lived near to the near to in <laughs> Stockholm where Notch was. Right. Had lunch with him one day and he was like, "Oh, yes, I'll put it on phone. It sounds good. Give me money. I already have loads of money, but give me more money." <laughs> yeah. And that was it. Um, I don't think we ever got paid for that either. Oh man! I sent them an invoice. Like you probably got like later. a phone. They probably gave you a, a Sony. I think Xperia. they paid for the <laughs> single hotel room that we were sharing. <laughs> that was very awkward, bloody hell. And mm. finally, Andreas Jensen mm. says, "Hey boys, I've enjoyed your TTT series for a while. Here is another of my maps Ooh. which you haven't played yet. Now, Let's have a look. What is this map? Have we actually played it? TTT Hallow Chambers. Ben, have we oh, played this? Oh, we haven't because the fog effect. You couldn't see like." very far it was super foggy too foggy uh, your map it? is too foggy take some of the fog out do a version two <laughs> low fog version i was flying around in creative mode and you couldn't see like more than like three foot in front of you too foggy Thick. thank you if that's the one i'm thinking of i can't remember um we don't like maps that are too dark or too what's it called hello champions i'll check because i might be confusing it wait till he does the v2 okay. low fog I'm <laughs> just saying <laughs> we'll check that it's the one i'm thinking of it might not be <laughs> Uh, we don't mind it too much. Um, all right, everyone, we're going to be we're going to be back next week. Um, I'm not on stream tomorrow, but I am no, on you're stream back on Saturday. On Saturday. Um, interestingly, me and Ben have actually got to look into playing a. Someone in chat just said, "Please, new vanilla Minecraft series." I think we're actually going to do a little bit of Minecraft. Um, cause Ben's found a fun mod pack mm -hmm. that we might look at because everyone's away next week when we're going to normally do Colony. Mm -hmm. So. We're going to try and do some... We might put some Minecraft in there instead. With Simon, if he's up, maybe. Might be Hope fun. so. Hype. Get A little bit of sneaky previews of some stuff today, talking about stuff. But yeah, all right. We're, we're out. Uh, thanks, everybody. Thanks for joining. Good night. Thanks for watching. Thanks for donating. See you later.